a one two, 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 what, 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 one two, one two. We are back at it. Big salute to everybody who's popping up on all platforms, whether you're popping up on YouTube. Salute to the people who are popping up on Twitch. Salute to the people who are popping up on Instagram. And salute to the people who are popping up on Twitter, aka X. You know what I'm saying? Man, like Roadrunner. Tia Banks in the building. Um, we are live right now. Tune in. We love hip hop on uh, we love hip hop network on YouTube. If you're not subscribed, then you're dissing. Um, hit that subscribe button for anybody who's popping into the chat on YouTube. But uh oh, Mighty Drew in the building, whole bunch of people in the building. Yo, look out for that Roadrunner interview that's out right now. Man, really dropped some gems, some some jewelry on the people right there. You know what I'm saying? Zeti, aka um, um Zeti's hot plates in the building. Look out for her new episode and vlog that's available on her channel right now. She's doing big, big, big things. Proud to see everybody doing their thing out here, man. It's just a lovely, lovely thing. There's a lot of different things going on in the scene. A lot of different things I want to address as far as beefs that are going on. It's like a versus universe going on right now. So big salute to everybody popping into the chat. For the people on Instagram, if you want to get interactive, pop out on our YouTube channel right now, youtube.com slash we love hip hop network. And y'all can get into the conversation ASAP. I'm going to be putting a link also. Uh, or actually, there is a link that's floating around right now in the description sorry in the chat and that link you can use to join the conversation so make sure to join the conversation let's get interactive in this and let's get it popping i'm gonna pin that message right there Bong. perfecto 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 all right so for the people on instagram once again we are live all right YouTube.com slash We Love Hip Hop Network. Let's get it popping. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's going on here. Who's in the chat? Comment Gang Strong. Let me know who's out here. You know what I'm saying? Who's popping in? What y'all saying? Dark Side, what up? Big thanks for the donation right there. Um, big salute to Dark Side. Big salute to Diamond Club. I see in the chat over here. That's the sponsors. Let me make sure I'm in the center of the screen right here. Ba, 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 ba. All right there. Perfect. Perfect. Big salute to Diamond Club. Hit them up on their Instagram if you need to get some of that loud and loud and loud. You heard me? Okay. They got delivery across Canada and delivery all over the GTA. Okay. Hit them up on their Instagram page, Diamond Club underscore Canada. OK, you can even you know, send, send any of us a DM, send, you know, send the boy a DM. We'll get something over to you quick, fast. Use the code. We love hip hop. If you want to get a discount on anything on the menu, you heard me. And I'm talking about the piffity piff edibles, pens, all types of good ish. All right. So hit them up once again. Diamond Club underscore Canada and uh, tell them that we love hip hop boys sent you. Also, if you need some of that blem, I got some of that right. Yeah. OK, a bag of that steaming hot grabber, some of that flaming hot. Um, I think this is some some red herring grabber that's in this bag right here. And they got the red rose grabber Hold on. bags all over the place. Um, yeah, hit them up on their Instagram page. Steaming hot grabber. OK, you can also use the code. We love hip hop and get a discount on any bags of the grabber that's out there. You heard me. Um, I want to do a few shares over here. I'm going to do some sharing behind the scene. Sharing is caring. And y'all could do the same. Hit that like button. Okay. Um, whatever in, whatever social media platform you prefer. I'm doing a share right now on Twitter. Bong. Get my Twitter on quick fast. I'm going to do a quick share over here on the Facebook. Bong. Okay, make sure that everybody knows that uh, we live right now. And I'm going to do a quick share over on Reddit. All right. Um, while I'm doing that, actually, I'll multitask. I'll multitask. I want to show you all something. I want to show you all something. No diddy. Let's see. New interview dropping tomorrow. 
super extra, 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 extra exclusive. Oh, and hold on. You know what? I want to show you all that first. That's what I'll do first. Let me show you all what happened earlier today. Got to link up with the boy Roni. Had to postpone it a couple of times, but we made it happen. You know what I'm saying? We definitely, definitely made it happen. Um, and we got to tap in, get a full interview going on. Let me go over here to the... My internet is running smooth. We're going to have a good stream today. Hopefully, Actually, no, let me, not, let me not jinx it. Let me not jinx it. Okay? Bong. Okay? The hardest out tour. Y'all see that on the screen right there? The boy Roan Dog. It's a movie in this bit of the ditch. Okay, big salute to Roni. Man, it's looking fresh like a million bucks. We had a great conversation, actually. Um, and one of the things, the highlights for me is just his progression in the game. Like, Roni is still a very young man. And for him to be doing this thing since he was, like, 14, 15 years old or something, maybe a, around that age. I don't, I don't remember exactly what his age was when he first came out. But I remember he, we were talking about how he started dropping music back in 2012 and then had to go on a hiatus and then come back in 2018. So after his parole and everything that was up in around 2021, 2020, if I'm not mistaken, it's like he became like a whole new rapper all over again. You know what I'm saying? I never really got to really, you know, see how he was thinking about the way his career is going all of this time. So. We got to have a really, really insightful conversation. Big salute to Roni. Big salute to Double O over here. Big salute to, to Swipe a lot. The whole gang was in the building. Man, like Finch was in the building. It was, it was, a, it was a movie. You know what I'm saying? So look out for that real, real, real soon. Um, other than that, what did I want to show you? Let me show you all some of this. We're gonna be all over the place like bird shit today. Let's see. I'm going to show you all something quick, fast, a little quick, exclusive, exclusive, you heard me? Let's go here. Bong. New interview dropping tomorrow. Presidente, a.k.a. Mark Moore. Four life sentences. I was growing up, so like, yeah, I always had that, like, 60-day what you would call a serial killing spree allegedly because you know he's claiming his innocence on this but uh let's let me just play a little bit out of this just the, like we do being, some, uh, some stuff in the back right poetic, you know what i'm saying and putting the music format and reciting that properly you know what I'm saying so you can understand so you can recognize baby you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying so yeah now you know there's also Another gentleman that's a big part of your story from you. Did you ever see that TVO documentary? I was a good friend to this guy. Kevin Williams fit the to me on the definition, I, I think, of what you would call ultimately a snitch. God damn. I heard about it. So from what you heard, they have Mayhem Moriarty's name very intertwined in that. And before we get to him, as far as the whole story here, with the rapping part, you guys started linking up and started like, you know, going towards the rap shit. There's that infamous video with you, him, and a few other fellas that, you know, with the music video behind the scenes. Oh, oh the audio version is dropping tomorrow morning for the people who are the audio listeners, the Spotify, um, iTunes, or Apple Music listeners. 3 a.m. What was going on around that time? Like, you yeah. know. I mean, my, my, my niggas here, me here, yeah, you know. Like, were you, you were really going for the rap shit. Yeah, man, like, honestly, like, it's it's crazy because, like, I, I moved from the hood and I went from, from West Road, she went down, I had to go to Scarborough and Scarborough for a bit, and I got to do my thing out there for a bit in Scarborough. And, like, like me and Moriarty hit me up on Facebook, and he's like, yo, bro, bro, what's going on? Are you still rapping? 
And I'm like, yeah, I'm rapping. Trust me, my broski too. Even me, my blood brother too. We're doing our little thing like in the house on the computer. We had our own like studio kind of thing. We're like doing. We're, we're actually making like some hard body tracks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying so. Like I'm like, yeah, I'm doing my thing. Da da da. I'm like, he's like, yo, you gotta come down. Come out here and see me, doc. It's been a long time, so. You know, I got in contact back with him like that. I went on, went back home to 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 drums and then I pulled up and I'm like, you want to put up? I'm like, yeah, you know. And then you know, he's like, yo, bro, I need you. You know, I need you around. Uh, you you know, this is a rash. You gotta get it popping again. You know, it's been a long time, bro. We've been on, and like, you we've been on. And this day, you know, the regular typical me, I'm way out of like this guy. You know what I'm saying? So like, that's it. Yeah, man. So like, what do you want me to say? What do you want me to say? Like, you, no, no, you no, just, that, that, like, no, I just. Like, Exclusive, exclusive, exclusive. Hold on. And you know this type of gun, this wow. type of whatever there, right? So and then they're, and they're like, okay. So um, what else? What else? Did Freddie do any murders? He goes, no, Freddie didn't do any murders. Did Freddie tell you? Did Freddie ever tell you he did any murders? He goes, no, Freddie never ever told me he did any murders. He's like, why? So they just ask him because you know, you know. You know, there's a double homicide here right now, and you're, and you only have you, and you're going down for it. And if you're telling me that there's no prezi, then it's good to you, then right? So mm. you're going down for it. I gotta stop right there. That's too much. Holy. Okay, tap in tomorrow. Okay, look out for that. It's dropping, like I said, um, 3 a.m. for the audio listeners. If anybody who's on a late or early morning drive and you want to listen to something. You know what I mean? Get into the mind of a convicted serial killer. Take that in, okay? It's going to be a movie, all right? Big salute to the chat. Big salute to Dark Side once again, and thanks to, um, for that donation. Big salute to Diamond Club in the chat. Big salute to Bane in the chat. Who else is in here? Make yourself be seen. We are out here, okay? Um, and that's for the people on Twitter as well as the people who are tapping in on Twitch, okay? Um, I have a list of topics that I want to get into um, definitely, definitely want to cover that Jake, uh, sorry, Jake, that J. Cole apology. All right. Um, my opinions on that whole apology that he did not too long ago, um, as well as um, the homie damn homie. She's she's on a on a marathon anti sharp mission. You know what I'm saying? It's been kind of nasty out there um, as far as like some of the post. So, you know, we're going to have a, an online intervention possibly just to, to see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we'll see if we can, we can tap in with her and, and get her on the stream over here. Also, Adam22, he's got a lot going on over there in the No Jumper universe. Um, you know, the whole DW flame walking off the set. Um, what, you know, we can discuss um, with you guys over here in the chat whether we think that's professional or they're exe exhibiting extreme unprofessionalism. Um, also, I seen another post for something about another plug talk, you know, him, uh, Lena the plug and another black guy. So I think they're going at it again. I think they're going to try for another clout run. Um, Drizzy Drake. Oh, also big salute to BJ Gill over there, um, in the chat over here, all the way from the West coast, West coast in that's my dog right there. Road to success. What up? Salute. Um, Drizzy. Drizzy Drake. I don't have a watch on right now. You on the clock, broski. You were on the clock. All right. There's been some rumblings. There's, there's people are saying right now, or people being Joe Button, is saying that uh, he heard that, you know, he heard that some people heard a tune and they're saying that this tune is ooh, oh my god it's gonna be crazy oh 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 beware oh my god it's gonna be a it's, it's over for kendrick so i'm looking forward to hearing that we are wednesday right now in real time while we're doing this live so hopefully hopefully maybe during this live we can get an exclusive or sometime before friday or friday night or you know thursday morning friday or thursday night friday morning we can get this, these bars, okay? Um, there's a couple of Toronto things I want to cover as well. The wasses are moving around in Paris. We've got a lot of topics to get into. And like I said, there is a link that is at the top of, of the chat if you want to join into the conversation. Um, you know what? Let me just get straight into the shit. Let's get into it. J. Cole. Now, there's been numerous podcasters broadcasters 
people giving their take on this J. Cole apology. Obviously, a lot of people are disappointed in the fact that J. Cole did apologize. Um, let me see. Y'all can see this on the screen. Let me make sure. Perfect. So it says here on the screen, y'all feeling the J. Cole apology for seven minute drill. And you know what? I'll do this at the same time while I'm asking you guys. I'm going to set up a poll. Pause. No diddy. And ask you guys in the chat. Um, Let me see. What's the question? Did actually this is J. Cole still big three? Okay. Question mark question. Bear question marks. Bong. All right. There's the question right there. Is J. Cole still big three after, you know, what we're going to review right here? Let's get into it. I've been happy. I've been, I've been moving on my own accord, off my own desires, my own wants. Now, why am I saying all of that? All of that shit led me up until this point, 10 years later after this song, I'm here, here I am. I've been, I've been just chasing my shit, you know what I mean? Like, like following my dream and just trying to like head to the fall off in the way that I wanted to do it. And so I put out this project on Friday called Mike Delete Later. I don't know how many people done checked it out or whatever, but I put this project out. Delete this apology, bro. And I swear Sorry. to God, I'm so proud of that project because I know one, it's just a lead up. It's just an EP that leads me up to this thing that I've been working on for a long time. And I know the work it took to get to a certain type of skill level. And I love this shit. So I, that shit mean a lot to me, right? So I'm so proud. I've been, I've been happy. I've been, I've been moving on my own accord, off my own desires, my own wants. Now, why am I saying all of that? All of that shit led me up until this point, 10 years later after this song. I'm here. Here I am. I've yeah. Been, I've been just chasing my shit. You know what I mean? Like, like following my dream and just oh, trying to okay. like head to the fall of that project except for one part. One it's one thing. part of that shit that make me feel like, man, that's the lamest shit I ever did in my fucking life, right? And I know this is not what a lot of people want to hear. I know I can hear my niggas up there right now like, nah, nah, I don't do that. But I got to keep it 100 with y'all, right? I damn near had a relapse, right? Because... Y'all heard some shit that happened two, two, three weeks ago, however long it was. Y'all, y'all, y'all heard that bazooka that was dropped on the motherfucking game, right? So all of this time of me moving on my own accord, for the first time I was tested. Why am I tested? Because I got the world and I got my niggas like, what you going to do, Cole? <laughs> my niggas like, this nigga. Boy, I must have had a thousand missed calls. Oh, my fucking God. Text flooded. I couldn't even answer my shit. Nick, I don't really feel no way. But the world want to see blood. I don't know if y'all can feel that, but the world want to see blood. So I say all of that to say, in my spirit of trying to like get this music out, I ain't going to lie to y'all. I moved in a way that was, that I feel spiritually feel. Let me know in the chat. Like, like Put I, up an L in the chat if this is an L, a W if this is a W. Friendly, but at the end of the day, when I listen to it and when it comes out and I see the talk, that shit don't sit right with my spirit. That shit make me feel, that shit disrupts my fucking peace. So what I want to say right here tonight is in the midst of me doing that and, and in that shit, trying to find a little angle and downplay this, this nigga's fucking uh, catalog and his greatness. I want to say right now tonight, how many people think Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest motherfuckers? That oh, ever man. This nigga. Dreamville, y'all love Kendrick Lamar, correct? I don't really feel no way. You know, I pray that y'all are like... Anyhow, y'all get the gist, all right? So, man, he, he, he's backpedaling. He's apologizing, okay? Um, I think anybody who's popping into this chat right now, who's popping into something called We Love Hip Hop Network, is fully in the know of what's going on with J. Cole and, you know, the whole Big Three conversation, Okay. I don't think I have to repeat and give you guys the premise of what's going on over here. Now, you know, what do y'all think about seven-minute drill? All right, let me ask y'all in the chat. 
All right, we discussed this on the podcast not too long ago. Big salute to Dusty Wallace, big salute to DJ Czar, big salute to producer Big uh, B3. And, you know, we were not really, really so happy with the track itself, okay? When we did our recording of this, you know, incident here, um, this was before the song actually, before the, the apology, okay? He came in, cop and please, maybe a day after we were finished recording, which I'm like, God damn, bro. Why are you going to do that, fam? So I'll play some of the stuff that we were saying on the podcast, but I wasn't expecting an apology, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. I really, really, really wasn't expecting to hear J. Cole apologize, especially with the way that Kendrick has been treating him. And let's not get it twisted. It's not like Kendrick has made a million diss tracks, this and this boy, this guy. And with, with anything, the whole thing with that, right? Like we already covered okay. the whole like that track with Kendrick Lamar and blah, 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 blah. One second. With anything, he was more going at Drake, trying to take Drake's head off. Okay. You know, Cole got a couple of shots just for being in the wrong place at the wrong time. You know, he did bring up the big three conversation in the first place. However, the main target wasn't Cole in the first place. So I could also understand, just to give him a little bit of bail, I could understand where his sentiments may lie, where he's like, I didn't really have to jump out the window like this. Okay? And we gave our opinion on the song itself. G-H-I-J-K-L-M-N-O-P. Not like the average black dude, you know what I'm saying? No, like, for in that little yeah. hesitation thing. Like, you know when the double, starts triple the double, triple entendres? But he does that too. Nah, not like he did it like Drake. And you know when Drake starts to... The conversation we're having actually right here on the podcast is the fact that a lot of the bars on that specific song sound really Drake-ish. Okay? Um, let me finish. Let Dusty finish what he's saying here. First, you don't... Like, he doesn't start on the one. Thank yeah, it's you. Like on the end of the first bar. Almost. Yeah. It's Thank like, you. Are you going to start, bro? Yeah. <laughs> and then he just starts. <laughs> it's like the first bar goes, and then he's like, yeah. And when I heard this, was you like, too, it sounds eh? Drake influence, it, it, whether yo. it's like direct or indirect. Like, I'm like, you I, could tell he was wow. going for that. Remember, this is Cole's first time going to war, eh? <laughs> He threw, he threw, um, he threw a Buffalo soldier in the, in the front line and said, yo, try, try this out. Yeah. Right. This is his first time going to war. And now Drake is an experienced veteran when it comes to war. So yo, the clock, Drake. It's time. Them times, Bridget. Um, Okay. I'm going to pause it right there just for a quick second, because here's the thing when it comes to all of that. He did. He does sound a lot like Drake in some of those bars that are on that seven minute drill. Okay. And let me know in the chat if y'all agree with that as well. However, it's not only seven minute drill. I took the opportunity. I was, I had an, uh, an opportunity to do a, an extended drive. I was driving for about an hour and a half on the way back, um, back into Toronto. I was listening to the full might delete later album. Okay. Or EP or whatever he wants to call it. And through my listening, I noticed a lot of things on that uh, on on that album. I noticed one. He has a lot of songs where he just totally took Drake's style. That little Afrobeatish, um, Caribbeanish type of track right there. That sounded hella Drakeish. If that's going to be a new term that we're going to be using these days, okay? That sounded super Drake-like there, broski. Okay, we're not going to let that one slide. Okay, I'm going to fix my camera in a second, but we'll get to that later. Um, I'm not going to let that one slide there, bro. That sounded hella Drake-ish. But not only that, I heard the disses, um, Jermaine Cole. I heard the not only sneak shots. These were overt disses that I was hearing from J. Cole on that new delete uh, Might Delete Later album towards Drake. Now, I am I understand that these guys had a conversation before the album dropped saying that um you know, uh I got a couple of songs that are, are going to be coming out soon before the fall off. I had a certain way that I was feeling about you before when I did drop those songs, but since you brought me on tour, made me a few few Ms, probably a a few dozen Ms. 
I don't feel that way about you no more, Drake. So if you hear that stuff on that on this new album, I don't feel that way no more. Okay? I'm giving you that information from what I've gathered from different podcasts. This my thing when I, my journalism when I'm out here doing my thing. Okay? That's what I have to bring to you. Like he did let Drizzy know that you know there will be some sneak this is on this new might delete later album. However, without me bringing this information, other podcasters and journalists bringing this type of information to the forefront, how are we going to know? So for people who actually take the time to listen to the rest of the album, i.e. like a real J. Cole fan, and let's say you don't have that information prior going in, listening to this album, you'd be like, okay, you apologize to Kendrick publicly and said, I'm sorry, I could stick my chin out, no diddy, take your best shot. But you ain't apologized to the boy for about three songs of this is. I'm just saying. That might be the reason why um, he wasn't going to Dreamville. He's like, you know, I think I'm going to skip Dreamville. Right? Big salute to Maul from the Rory and Maul podcast. He was uh, at the Drake show for the last one that was over there in New York, or I think it might have been New Jersey. I'm not sure. doesn't matter. Okay. That was the 87th show, if I'm not mistaken. It was the last one on the tour for all of the follow-up shows. He got a chance to speak to Drizzy Drake behind the scenes after the show was done, and this is what he said about Dreamville. It's all good. So after the show, mm-hmm. Having a conversation, okay. Having a conversation, and I'm just like, you know, trying to figure out what's going on, man. What can what can we expect? And he might get mad for me talking about it, but he know he my nigga. I asked Drake one question. I said, "Yo, you going to Dream Fest this weekend?" And he gave me an answer that was kind of like weird. Friday night, hearing it. But Sunday night made all the sense in the world. Wait for he says, I don't know, should I? Because it's weird right now. Like, are we performing the record? Can we ever perform first person shooter? And he's and he has to change the bar now. <clears throat> first of all, I don't know. Should I is crazy. I don't understand. <laughs> is he asking Maul this? I don't know, Maul. Should I? What do you think? What if Maul was to say, you know what, nigga? Yeah, you should. Why aren't you in, um, you know, uh, North Carolina right now? You know what? You right. And he just leaves backstage or leaves the, the after party or whatever, jumps on a plane or jumps on Air Drake and goes right to North Carolina. Right? He's asking him, like, you know, maybe Maul can help him make that decision. Listen. Oh, good. So after the show, mm-hmm. having the a conversation. Party. Okay. Having a conversation. And I'm just like, you know. Trying to figure out what's going on, man. What can, what can we expect? And he might get mad for me talking about it, but he know he my nigga. I asked Drake one question. I said, yo, you going to Dream Fest this weekend? And he gave me an answer that was kind of like weird Friday night hearing it, but Sunday night made all the sense in the world. He says, I don't know. Should I? Cause it's weird right now. Like, are we performing the record? Can we ever perform first person shooter? And he's, I don't know. Should I? I've been a project. My bad. Wrong slide. Should I? Oh, good. So we gonna shit on Kendrick every time we do the record? Yeah, that is that is kind of crazy. And nobody wants to hear us together unless we're dissing Kendrick. That's just where it's at. Niggas don't want to hear new records. It's a fair. It's a fair Niggas point. Niggas don't want to hear old bops, old jams. <clears throat> It's a nigga in Compton that wants smoke with both of you niggas, and you niggas is in North Carolina having a bromance. Yeah, and he's doing he's doing Mexican burpees in Compton right now, right now. You this, this current nigga moment just when we out, say that this nigga just put out a seven minute drill record that was kind of like a pillow fight, but okay, whatever. He's at least he stepped in the gym. He's in the gym. Drake, the world is waiting for you to respond. But Friday night he says, I don't know. Should I? Mm. That's I don't know why that's so funny to me, bro. 
bro, you're the biggest rapper in the world. Like, I, you know, with all due respect to Maul, I don't think Maul's going to influence your decision. I said, well, if you don't, I think Cole is going to feel a way about that. Was Drake, I'm going to really try to get you to snitch. Did Drake find out about 7-Minute Drill with the rest of us? Or was he... So we're going to shit on Kendrick every time we do the record? Yeah, that is... He had spoken to Cole. I didn't... I don't know, but we spoke maybe an hour after the record came out. Okay. Thursday night. Mm. So while Maul and Drizzy were having their conversation, the record is already out. Okay? Listen, I don't think it takes for Mans to leave the party get into the into the sprinters or wherever the whatever trucks that these guys jump into to hear that there's a song out okay from the time that that song dropped i'm sure texas were starting to get sent around for all we know because remember we're you know we're not behind behind the scenes gang they he might have already known that the song's dropping he might have already heard it and been like you sure you want to do that, Cole? I got this. You know, I, I, I'm I'm in the I'm in the studio. I'm cooking. I've been cooking while I'm in on the road. I got maybe about twenty eight bars ready right now. You sure you want to do this, bro? You sure? And Cole said, "Nah, man, I got this. I got this." Seven minute drill. You know, that's that kind of thing that you know me and 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 the producer. Uh, um, conductor like when we getting ready and we just trying to exercise the rapid muscles and stuff you know the seven minute drill drake said okay bro have at it all right that's my story it's like okay bro you, that's what you want to do have at it now as far as him apologizing and i'm just listen i'm just theorizing over here I don't think that Drizzy knew he was going to apologize. However, was he was it something that would have been out of, you know, J. Cole's toolbox? Did, was Drizzy surprised, let's say? Probably not. So I don't know when, if he heard it already. I don't know. I didn't ask that. But that was, I said, yo, if so if you don't go, I think Cole feels a way about that. He's like, yeah, probably. So, but I'll talk to him. I'll talk to him. I just think right now. <laughs> To me, that's some of the, that's some of the most entertaining conversation that, that that could be happening right now at a party somewhere. Yeah, he'll probably be pretty pissed off. You know, like you just you know you you just went all over the world or all over the country with this guy. Came to was was Cole in Canada? I don't think Cole was in Canada. I don't, he he didn't come to Canada. He didn't do the Toronto show. But I don't know about the ones in the other locations, the West Coast, Montreal. I think he was at some of those other locations in Canada. But Cole got to do a whole world tour with this nigga. Got a number one single. Now it's time for Dreamville Fest. <laughs> you know the boy's going to be there. You know he's telling Boss and J.I.D. and all them niggas like, yo, <laughs> watch when Drake pops out on stage. It's going to be crazy. All right? He's still waiting for the for the response from the text. He don't have to DM him. He texts him directly, probably. He's like, yo, you pulling up to the show, bro? We're gonna we gonna do, you know, we're gonna do the um, that big three song there. You know, we gotta do that. Big at the Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Uh oh, you look, yo, North Carolina go crazy, bro. All right? Bear Texas are coming in. Yo, bro, where you at, bro? Drizzy, Drizzy's, he ain't coming, bro. He's at, he's at the crib. He's back at the embassy. You know what I'm saying? So, but maybe not. You know, from what it seems like here, it seems like at this after party, he wasn't sure. Okay? He was asking Maul, should I? Maybe I should go. That was just weird. It's just like a weird. You just said, you just said it on this man catalog. So now every time you do this record, you can't be saying he's part of the big three. You just shit it on him. But you already, you can't, you can't change. I don't this think he why, should change the this bar. This is why, this is why what J. Cole did from the gate with seven minute drill was, you just said, you just shit it on So there you have it there. That's a conversation that 
you know, like Maul was saying, he, he wasn't really supposed to go out there like that, but he decided to just, you know, let the people know anyway. Drake heard the song. He was like, maybe I might skip this. Okay. He, as soon as he heard that there was a song out and he was like, ah, ah maybe too soon. He was like, nah, I don't know if I'm going to show up to this dream fest or just dreamville. What they call that shit? Dreamville fest. Yeah. I don't know if I can make that man. Don't gas up the jet, bro. We're going to stay. We're going to stay in Toronto. What's going on at Habibi, Habibi's? You know what I'm saying? I don't know where these niggas hang out. What's going on in King Street or wherever these niggas be popping out of? Like, nah. North Carolina, nah. We're going to skip that one. So, he missed the apology. <laughs> Peace Love says, the optics. Yeah. And, you know, from what he was saying to Maul, it's kind of, it's pretty true. I'm not even going to say kind of true. It's pretty true. What are you going to do? You're going to keep on every time it's, it's time to, to drop the track, you guys are going to start ganging up on Kendrick? The nigga didn't even drop a whole track. He featured on somebody else's shit to send a shot at you niggas. And with all due respect to all parties involved, meaning I'm talking about Drake and and, Ken, and uh, J. Cole, he's kind of, Kendrick's kind of looking like the boogeyman right now. I'm not going to lie. Like, I feel like people's trying to exaggerate when they're like, oh, y'all better chill out. Don't get Kendrick Lamar mad. The boogeyman's going to come out. Yeah. But how long does it take for the boogeyman to, to, to get over to where you're at? You know what I'm saying? If he was like the, a Bloody Mary character and you, and you go and you walk in front of a mirror and you say Bloody Mary three times and it's Kendrick, you'd be looking behind you like, where's Bloody Mary? It's taking a goddamn long time. Right? I feel like the boogeyman should be ready, um, should be accessible at any moment to tear people's heads off. Okay? I don't think the boogeyman, he's more like the Sasquatch, maybe. He, there's a sighting of him every five years. Okay? So when everybody gives that whole, he's the boogeyman, he's the boogeyman, that kind, that analogy is kind of whack to me. You know what I'm saying? Not to say take anything away from Kendrick's skills. I think Kendrick's an amazing lyricist. Okay? But the boogeyman, no. But now, that boogeyman shit is starting to sound, starting to make a little bit more sense now, fam. I'm not going to lie. He got y'all niggas shook as hell, bro. Got this nigga over here apologizing, crying, and bitching. Okay? And I know there's a whole other conversation that's going on in the whole um the black Twitter sphere or black Twitter or just even just in black media period where they're like, this is a good thing for J. Cole. You know what I'm saying? Addressing his mental health. You guys are so stuck up on war and da, 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 da. But what about the mental health and wealth of the black man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. And that all true, but this is rap. Okay. You can get to the mental health stuff later. I don't want to be toxic, but like, bro, if you're going to shoot this nigga, if he dies, he dies. Okay. Go to your therapy. Go to your therapist after this. You know what I'm saying? Do it in, the, do it in private. All right. But I will, you know, give a little bit of bail to say he has shown growth for the people who are into that. Okay. And I'm not not into that. I'm just not into that right now. Okay. But for those people who are really big mental health advocates who are like, listen, mental health over anything, all right? If it wasn't in the spirit, then don't make him go and do something that's just not in the spirit, all right? Don't make him go and do something violent or, you know, talk about things. Yes, I understand. So moving forward for all the rappers, when they start feeling like this is getting a little bit too stressful, like this beef, this guy's. He's dissing me a little bit too hard. I don't like the comments that are popping up, the memes that people are making. Go take a break. It's fine. Okay? But just know, 
we're not going to be getting any more battles after this. Okay? For the people who are into artists being competitive, you know, taking it to the wax or no, not wax. We, that's the old term. You know, taking it to the studio and saying, all right, I don't like you. I don't like some of the things that you were doing. So I'm going to address it on wax. I'm going to address it on my album. That shit is done. That's a riggedy rap. These are the last of the Mohicans of niggas who are going to be dissing each other's on uh, dissing each other on tracks. I'll even take it a step further. This is the last of motherfuckers who are skilled enough who can even make a sub that you have to be like, oh, that's towards so and so. Niggas don't rap that good anymore. Okay, like drill niggas, like the drill rap niggas, they they diss each other all the time. But it's not a, they don't do subs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're like, seen Wooski hit him in the head and then he did the dance. And the, that's, I guess, battling is, that's competition in a sense. But this is not, that's not what we're talking about right now. Okay. A nigga subbing you, subbing you, subbing you from song to song, freestyle to freestyle until we get to the point where it's like, you know what? Now I'm going to respond. Okay. That takeover shit. That ether shit, that whole era of rap after this battle is done, is done. Okay, remember I'm telling you that right now. These new niggas don't do this shit. One, half of the time they pretend to be, they pretend to be friends, okay? They run around doing some fake friend shit. And in the other half of the time, when they have beef with each other, they just take it to Instagram. Okay, black screen, whole bunch of letters. Oh, this is why you're this is why I don't like you. We never liked you. Okay, and then push comes to shove, then they go live. Ah, listen, nigga, when I see you, ah, 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 ah. and then if anything, then they just bump into each other and then either, you know, unfortunately, maybe kill each other or somebody gets beat down, a chain gets taken, and then that's the battle. Whoever's chain gets taken first, that's who that's the loser. Okay? But skillful, lyrical, you know, subs, jabs, direct shots, all that type of stuff that you get from, you know, this battle that you're seeing right now that's about to, to build up with Drizzy Drake and Kendrick Lamar. And now no more Ke no more J. Cole. J. Cole knocked himself out of that. You know what I'm saying? That shit is dead. We're not getting that no more. Right? Franklin Frazier says hip hop um, battles is the new flag football. Yeah, these niggas ain't gonna be tackling no more, bro. No diddy. Okay. No contact. Ow. Yo, you see, you know, you see that? I'm not gonna put it on Drizzy. Okay, salute to the boy. However, <coughs> when that time when Pusha T was on his neck. And he had a nuclear bomb that he was going to hit him with. And then Jay Prince was like, nah, don't do it. And, you know, he, he was like, yo, the types of things that I was going to say, all that type of stuff. That might have been just the beginning, begin, near the beginning of that trend. Okay? I'm not saying that this is the same as J. Cole apologizing. It's nothing the same. But where the beef ends, because somebody's big homie says, nah, B, don't do it. It's going to get too crazy. You know what I'm saying? And then us in the audience, we become the losers. We don't get to hear the fire. We don't get to hear the bars. So if it starts becoming a trend where, one, your big homie could step in and say, nah, nah, don't do it. It's too much of an investment or a lot, you know, it's too much of a loss in our investments and stuff. Or you got niggas like Cole who are like, ah, ow, my spirit. I don't think I liked what I said right there. I don't think I even felt that way. If you love Kendrick, everybody say, hey, love you, Kendrick. <laughs> Jay Castro said, <laughs> I got to put that back on the screen. Jay Fold. Yeah. I seen a few other ones in there, too. Um, is it Jay Cold? Y'all niggas is creative with the Jay Cold uh, flips right there. You know what I'm saying? But Cole, like, what's worse? 
the 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 apology and the way that your spirit felt after the apology and the way that everybody was coming at you saying yo bro do this do this that ah, ah. or the pylon that you're getting from everybody whether it's in the comments social media podcasters radio station announcers what's worse fam you may as well just held your apology so you don't have to le- deal with all this backlash there's people who are literally taking you out of the top spot that you've been bragging about being in for the last 10 years. Why did you do all of that building up saying that you're one of the big three to now knock yourself out? You feel me? Trust me. Uh, Sorry, I'm just, I got distracted by a Reddit post, yo. But yeah, man. I, I can't even say big salute to J. Cole because you kind of dropped the ball on that one right there. But salute to your mental health. Let's do that. Salute to your mental health. Okay? You jumped the gun for real. It wasn't your go. It was Drake's go. All right, my nigga? We don't need to hear... Um, and even with 7-Minute Drill, fam, the shit wasn't even that hot. It was, it, was, it was mid. It was super mid. Okay? There's people who are saying, well, maybe he heard what the reception was from 7-Minute Drill, and he was like, I'm sorry. I don't even think that's the case. He, Whatever he said on the stage is how he feels. I don't even think he's lying. But it's not the time for that, B. However, it's the time for this. All right? The boy, a.k.a. Drizzy Drake, a.k.a. The Six God, he's loaded up, up allegedly. Actually, no, Diddy. Apparently, he's got a full clip ready for I don't know whose head top. It's not going to only be Kendrick. I requested me, myself, I don't know, and a few other people that make sure that you get Future too. Don't forget Ross. But from a recent um, episode of the Joe Button podcast, I'm big salute to Joe Button and the whole crew over there. Um, there's he he's Joe Button heard that the song is ready. Okay, I'll play a little shit bit of it. Ready. Okay, hopefully we don't get any copyrights, but uh, let's go. Shit, I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna fuck you up. Let them two dudes box this out. This has been a long time coming. Do you think um, you know, especially on on the Drake side, like we said, we, does he address raw shit like that? Do you think any of them? Drake got to address everybody. No, I'm just saying. Do you, if you're and for the way niggas is telling me in in the street, it sound like it don't sound like one dude caught it. It sound like everybody got it. Let's go. It sounds like again these people's ears that heard this could be dick riders. They could have a different gauge than than myself. I'm wondering who he spoke to. That's what I'd like to know before we even proceed here. Who did Joe Button speak to? And let me do a poll here. Okay, let me do another poll here. We got to make sure we keep interactive in this bit of the ditch today. Let's get rid of this one here. What was the last question I was asking? Is J. Cole still big three? Damn, 78% of y'all said no. That's crazy. Yo, Cole. I'm not feeling you like that anymore, bro. And there's still 23% that are like, yes, he's still, we still love you, Jermaine. Now, let me see. What's the question I can ask for Drake? Will Drake drop this week? Okay. Because from what Joe Button is saying, he heard that, you know, that there's a track ready. He didn't hear it, but he heard that there's a track ready. All right. So will he drop it this week? Are we going to get it on Thursday? Sorry, Friday night or Friday morning. I mean, when everybody gets their, all their new music, keep in mind, keep in mind that Metro Boomin and Future are dropping again this Friday. Okay. So keep that in mind when you're making your votes. I might hear it and think differently. The people that do, let's say they do catch it. Mm-hmm. But I'll do tell you. Any of them say something back. But I will tell you, no. Okay. No. I think most of these niggas is pussy. They ain't going to say nothing to Drake. 
Got it. What I will tell you, though, even if I'm not to believe these rumors I've heard about this this, this track, the patterns <laughs> show me that it exists. Shit, threat shit, I'm going to kill, I'm going to fuck you up. Let Juicy Hamburger, were you saying Kendrick is going to kill Drake? Ooh, that's big talks right there, bro. Holy. It's like, anytime Drake starts just leaking shit. Like, just desecrate him like what you think the next song that he has is so crazy like what else can they say like for the amount of things that have been said about drake like and even kendrick himself has said like what else has he got left to academics anytime he just start posting pictures that just exude a certain amount of confidence like there's not a threat out there in the universe it's recorded already mm-hmm. when you see him looking sad it ain't done yet. He's more than what he got to do to one of you niggas. <laughs> <laughs> and I do think it's going to hurt Drake having to swing at Kendrick the way he has to swing at him. But I think Drake Drake is on his heel. He's a heel now. He's a and, heel. And bro, it's, evil, it's evil Drake time. There's the part that Kendrick has been swinging at him for years. They've been Again, swinging at each other. You've been swinging for a long time. Eight plus. You yes. So, the boy is apparently ready to, to, to get into action. I don't want to use this picture right here. I don't know why I posted this on Instagram. I knew I was going to do a live later. The boy is ready to spring into action, basically, is what Joe Button has heard. Okay? Let's not take this, and no matter how big Joe Button is in this whole podcast game and how his opinion goes across so many different places. Let's not take this and put it in stone. All right. He heard it's like a friend of a friend told me. All right. For all we know, that person might be lying to him. He might be gassing it like, yo, bro, I heard some shit. Yo, it's going to be crazy. Yo, Kendrick is over for Kendrick when Drake drops this. Yo, I heard I was playing it on repeat in the studio. Oh, man. For all we know, that nigga could be lying to, to, to Joe. But I don't think he is. I really, really, really don't think he is. I think that there is a song. It, I don't think it, I don't think there's a complete song. Okay. And I'm gonna pre I'm gonna um put a little caveat on this right now. I don't have any insider information on this. I'm just going from what I'm seeing from the outside right now. You know what I'm saying? So there's no cap in my rap right now. I'm just going from, I know what you guys know, all right? Or whatever I try to pull up from the different researches that I do, okay? Purple Gorilla says, um, he may even let this whole coal hate ride and in, and let Metro boom in and then drop this week. Let that, co- um, let that cook for a few and then come out mid-May and even June, summertime. Really? Nah, B. We need this now, B. Actually, you know what? Let me chill. Because I know y'all do be calling me the OVO lawyer and stuff like that. And that's bad advice right there. Okay? You never want to tell the client to jump the gun and be, or talk. You know, shit. say a bunch of shit. Like, yeah, let's go. Drop now. Okay? It takes time for good food to cook. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not even going to lie. I don't even feel good saying that shit, B. I don't even feel good saying that shit. Because when it was meek, bro, I, I got to be objective. When it was meek, you was on his neck. You dropped charged up, and then you was like, bro, where are y'all at? Driving on the block playing AR app. You wasn't giving this nigga a minute to breathe. Okay? So, if that's the case, now niggas is waiting on you, B. You can't have that energy for Meek and them like, yo, where's your tune? Uh, I got one. Where is yours? Your go. And now, when the quote-unquote boogeyman or candy man or whatever when he's ready to, to drop and he drops a feature and everybody's like so what you gonna do now and you let cole go over there and trip up and bumble up and 
you know, half shoot and then apologize? Nah, B. Niggas is waiting for you, Drake. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it don't even have to be the whole ether or whatever that you're supposed to have waiting for this nigga. Send the shot now, bro. Okay? And I'm saying this objectively because, like, I'll say again, you didn't have the same energy for Meek. You had Meek under pressure. Like, bro, I don't write that fast. Just chill, bro. Uh, yo, I'm right. What was what was Meek's song that he that he dropped to to respond? War or something? Can we hear a little bit of that? That shit was booty juice. Jesus, y'all remember that? Had Meek under pressure, bro. Like, yo, 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 fam. Like, I know I'm the one who started the beef, but like, give me, give me a couple of weeks, bro. I need to. I'm still working out the the flow pattern, bro. I'm still waiting for Emily to send me a couple of bars. Chill. This nigga's like, boom, charged up. Remember, he charged up. Everybody was kind of like, eh, I don't know about that. But he was. He, he sent the shot. What was it called? What's it called? War, war pain. It's from eight years ago. Okay. You had the man writing under the rest, bro. And now niggas is waiting on you. Look and you're quiet. Toronto. <laughs> Status. Five-star hotel, four seasons. Right? When did this drop? This drop maybe about a week after back-to-back, maybe two weeks after back-to-back. The nigga had two songs out, desecrating Meek's career. And Meek's like, okay, here I go. Like, nah, nigga, it's too late, bro. You, you dead already. <laughs> we, we already left the funeral. Yeah. Cross four bricks to go to live, nigga. Whole squad on some shit, that's how we live, nigga. No, 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 no. It's not that time, bro. No bragging time. Phone with the blood talking Justin Bieber. I made a million last week and I ain't touching either. No, 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 no. You know this track is not so bad. It's just, it wasn't that type of, it wasn't, we weren't on that type of time, bro. Go at his neck, bar one. Pull up on the plug, swap the bag with the suitcase. DC4 on the way, that's nigga do date. Ride you in your city in Utah. Sorry for the situation on him, Lord knows. Cut. And that's not even true, bro. You never robbed this nigga. Right? Like, it was, it was too little, too late. I'm probably going to have to take this out of the stream after. But who cares? Right? It's too, too late. So I'm just asking. Have that same energy for Kung Fu Kenny. Okay? We ain't trying to rush you, bro. But it's time. And if Joe Button's saying he heard from a friend of a friend, uh, a cousin's friend, that you got a song ready, then drop the tune, my guy. What do y'all think? Should Drake drop this shit now? Or I, I seen what y'all say, pff, you know, drop it in the summertime and shit. By the time the summertime, we ain't gonna even care about this anymore. Orlando Brown's gonna say something crazy, you know. I don't know, Krishan Rock or maybe Blueface will get home from jail or something like. We'll be on to some other shit. You feel me? Let me see. Let me see what the what y'all saying in the poll over here. Pause. Um, will Drake drop this week? Is what I'm asking. 50, 56% of y'all are saying no right now. 44% is saying yes. But y'all don't really have a lot of confidence in the boy dropping this week, unfortunately. That's sad. Yo, gang, is hip-hop dead, bro? Is this where we're at? We don't even expect too much from the rappers anymore? They're like, ah, he'll drop whenever he's ready. If that's the case, all right, 
if you ain't dropping, and I'm talking to the boy right here, okay? If you ain't dropping to like June or some shit like that, I don't want to see no Instagram captions or no memes or anything like that saying nothing about these niggas then. Okay? Nick, mom's the word. Niggas can't say shit to this nigga Kenny until they get to the bars. All right? I don't want to see a black screen story post. Nothing. All I want to hear is nah, 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 nah. man's just eating food. He's killing these niggas, bro. Pause. All right? Road to success is going extinct. That's facts. Niggas is afraid to rap now. Even in captions. I, I, I seen one in the post that I posted. Big salute to the shot review. Nigga said, can you guys rap already? I was like, for real? Where is it? Right here. Somebody just rap already. God damn. Like, for real, bro. I'm actually, we're like, what, three weeks now or about three weeks since the that Like That track uh, has dropped? We've been talking about this shit more than actually listening to the responses. Remember, 7-Minute Drill just dropped last weekend. Before that, we're just like, what are they going to do? What are they going to do? Now, now we sound stupid talking about this shit, B. Let's hear the bars, fam. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. For all the, the media people out there, new media, you know what I'm saying? Um, legacy media, old school niggas, anybody who be tapping into any of the, uh, the We Love Hip Hop shit out here, okay? Until these niggas get back to the bars, until I hear some raps, let's all collectively stop talking about this shit. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to hear about Cole or what should Drake do next or the breakdown and the real meaning why and all these stupid YouTube videos. Nah, man. Kill that shit. That shit is dead, B. Let's hear some new tracks. Let's hear these bars. And then we can get back to having a full-on discussion about who's doing what. Because all I'm hearing right now is this, this, this little Compton nigga scaring the shit out of all of these niggas. And that's the only song that we have to analyze. Okay, the one from the from J. Cole, he took it back. So we don't have to add, we analyze that for no reason. We wasted our time breaking down the bars, giving the genius breakdowns of what Cole said. Who cares? The nigga took it back. Okay, but until then, why are we even talking about this shit until the boy drops? Okay. The only time I want to talk about this shit again for real, for real, is one, if Drake drops or if Kendrick comes back again. And he's like, bum, where are you? We've been waiting. We've been driving down the block playing AR, free AR abs, switching up the lit. Oh, I might have to get back in the booth myself. I've been, I've been dropping down the block, free AR ab. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever cadence that Kendrick will flip the shit in. You know what I'm saying? But I'm tired of Instagram, fam. I just, I want to hear the music now. Straight up. But yeah, man. Salute to the boy. Salute to J. Cole. Okay. Get your, <coughs> you know, take care of your mental health. But Drake, them times, brethren. Them times. But we'll leave, we'll leave it alone. Okay. I'm not trying to lose my OBO card. Um damn homie. Let's take a look into what's going on over here. And big salute to the comment gang. Everybody popping out over here. Gucci Ghost in the building. Peace love in the building. Old John Crow 416 track star music in the building. Salute, salute, salute. Uh peace love in the building. Um homegrown records in the building, road to success in the building, purple gorillas in the building. Entertainment in the building, Johnny Blix in the building. We are out here, juicy hamburger in the motherfucking building. Shit, we out here, man. Um, 
I was going to say <laughs> salute to some. Mm-hmm. I'm not even going to show y'all niggas. But we out here. Um, damn homie. Let's examine what's going on with damn homie. Damn homie. Damn homie. Damn homie. In high school, you was the man, homie. No, she wasn't. Um, so let's see. What's the last post? She got her Instagram back. Apparently, I'll give you all a quick backstory. She lost her Instagram quick fast um, since our last interview. Okay, I'll just say that. I won't give all of the information. But since our last interview, she did lose her Instagram. This one, damn homie 11. But uh, 1.4 million followers. God damn, I didn't even realize that. But uh, she got it back. She's good to go. Appreciate you anyway. This, the- this is five days ago. The main <laughs> character right here. She's taking over this week. Oh, it was all good just a week ago. I never said that. I don't believe I do, you, Rick. I, I don't believe you. I Stop do playing think- with my Ooh, I think that's where it started. What he said? Why do you, why you get it all? Get on, do a plug talk. I do think Lena's gorgeous, but I never said that. She you anyway. This is the main <laughs> character right here. She's taking. All right, this is after, and we covered this all again. Zan Princess, she's from Montreal. Let me give her a quick follow here. Bonk. Tap into my, my Montrealese. Um. Yeah, so this is the all the thumbnails. This is from like a week ago, so the view counts have grown exponentially. All right, she called my youth here or my guy here a comparator, a, a peon, threw a drink at him, had a whole beef. This is the first one with a. Shade you anyway. Uh, this, is the main- this is the first beef that she had, or one of the main beefs with Brick Baby over here. All right, they've been getting some good content out of her, and. Obviously, the whole thing with Sharp has been the crux of the whole argument, I guess, that's been going on here. All right. What's this going on? What's this point? You ever wasted? This from 38 minutes ago? A man's time. Yeah. What's the longest time you wasted? For two months. I reported you. For- Guidelines. Making my card. Wait, is it going to? All right. I'm not going to get the uh, stream taken on here. So most of the drama I don't see on this page here, which is smart. I would not put a lot of that stuff over there but if i hearken over to this channel right or this instagram page right here we see this post here you anyway this the- okay the same one that was over there on the damn homie um 11 post however there's a bunch of other stuff 1972 when we was going downtown to the state theater um the crips was there and they was taking leather okay that's something from her podcast Jackets and taking people money and all that and no, I want to hear about this. Playing that shit down your dead homie, straight up bitch and whatever you want to do with that. And I told her, bitch, want to say I ain't a pussy? Okay, cool. Come square up for it then, because I got a problem with that. That's a lie. So I, I gotta stand for that one. You won't tarnish my character nor my name, bitch. Or I won't allow that. Now that was post her. Saying you that uh, you you wasn't saying that when you was eating my pussy and buying the flowers and she she went off. Okay, um, but post that I think this false is false ass it. narratives. I'm not with that. That fucking conversation sounded like nothing. It had no substance. What did you learn out of that? True. That I got I her. got nothing out of that. I learned that you care for her. Oh, I guess that's what it is. Man, Prince is playing it was game. a running game, dog. Running game, dog. That wasn't even fucking me. <laughs> no, okay. Stop joking with me okay, right okay, now, okay, though. Okay, I'm no, fucking, no, fucking Guidelines, yo. Yo, he's mad. Everybody keep laughing all this extra shit. I'm not fucking playing. I can play with you like that because I can play with you like that. No, I love you. No, 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 upset so this is based off of some of the stuff that she's been playing here and i'm trying to find some of um some stuff here from her page before i actually go on to twitter because you know you got to do a a quick twitter autopsy before you do anything here but she's been continuous continuous with the 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 sharp hate 
If I go into the stories here, there's a bunch more stuff. That fucking Congress playing that shit down your dead arm. Yo, I love how these losers are crying to Adam, like, yo, make her stop. Like, we're telling her you're going to ban her. It's like, bro, I thought you were tougher than that. You came for me. And all I ever did was defend myself. Y'all just not used to a woman defending herself and coming back at you. What did you think was going to happen? So the reason I can't get sued in this situation is because everything I've said is the truth. Everything. I haven't lied not once. But Brick said that my followers are fake. He accused me of this, right? Sweetie. Talking about like my first, this is my first viral moment. My first skit I've ever done in my life went viral. How do you think I got to know Jumper years before you ever did? Because my shit's been viral. What are you talking about? This is my first situation with drama going this is facts. Um, I feel like, you know, Brick and a few other the No Jumper team over there, you know, just to give some defense to damn homie, they're not aware that Adam interviewed her years ago now. I think it was like three years ago or something that he interviewed her on, on the platform. So she's, yeah, she's not new to No Jumper. Viral. Yeah, I've never had that happen before because I'm dealing with losers and peons. Duh. So Brick said my followers were fake, right? Bro, I have $3 for every follower I have. And that's my main account and my backup account. Can you say you even have $50,000 to your name? You cannot, right? Um, and talking about I'm a cloud chaser, sweetie. We were just laughing about the situation a couple of days ago. Now I'm a cloud chaser? Okay, because you're not on your YouTube right now making reaction videos to this situation that you involved yourself in. No one involved. Well, no, Sharp involved you. He made you do his dirty work for him like a peon, right? But Wow, she's got calling man peons. That's crazy. Talking about this is my most viral moment. Like my first skit didn't go viral. Didn't you just have a viral moment recently for not defending your hood? Because that's what it was all about, right? Why are you defending Sharp's dick more than that? Low blows. Yikes. Like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Are you about? serious? You just went viral for what? For not doing anything to a man. Shocking. So there's this whole thing about Sharp responding to damn homie saying he's drinking piss. And oh, 60K. Oh, man. I don't even, I can't even find her in her Twitter account right now. I've been looking on, the, on my phone for her Twitter account to see if um, I can find some of those other posts because she went on a tirade on Twitter. Okay. Instagram is, this Instagram stuff is just the tip of the iceberg. Twitter, she was going crazy, but maybe she got her Twitter taken down for this shit. No. I'm gonna give you some poo. What is this sharp new theme song? I'm gonna give you some pee -pee. Wow, she's straight disrespecting these guys. And act like I have a problem with you, but I know I never did. Yes. I would never do you like that, my nigga. All right. All right, get going first. All right. You're right. Fuck that video, bitch. I wish you would put it on. You for everything you don't got. I don't care about that shit. I care about you. You don't even know, my nigga. Mm. I never gave a bitch what, like, even a piece of what I gave you when there's bitches that gave me their life. <laughs> yeah. Yo, what's happening right here? I do good by but it's not like I tried for you. Fuck you. <laughs> You're so used to having your way, you don't even know what it's like to have a nigga like myself. That's why niggas like me, why could you contain a nigga like me? You're so big. You're so Hold on a second. Gang, do y'all think that this is real? Like this phone call here going on between damn homie and Sharp? And let me end this poll here. The poll that I was asking as far as Drake dropping this week. Um... Once again, 58% of y'all say no, and the other 42% says yes. Okay, let's get that out of the way. Let's get this guy out of the way, because this is not the time, sir. One second, gang. Because this guy sees my phone right here. Go take a walk. Okay, let's start a new poll. Okay. 
Oh, actually, she's going live right now. Hold on. Let's take a look and see what's going on over here in the live. One moment, gang. Um, she's live right here. And so if you go to World Star, World Star YouTube, WorldStarHipHop.com, we have a brand new show called Down in the DMs. I'm super excited. This has been months in the work. I was working on a whole other show, honestly, and it has not been easy becoming a producer. It's it's so easy. You know, when you come to a job where everybody, in the chat, gang. The, you don't have to do anything. You just come in. There's already a cameraman, a, a you know, like. Yeah, poor Sharp. Sharp's drinking piss. Don't worry about him. But like I was saying, yo, um, you know, it's one thing when you come to a place where they do everything for you. It's another thing to do it I'm gonna yourself. Send her, I'm going to send and her a message. Give it up on for everybody team. that has their own podcast I'm dropping in the chat right their now. own YouTube channel or anything that they're doing consistently. I just want to give it up for y'all because this shit is not fucking easy. But back to what I was thinking earlier. Yo, um, Brig did a reaction video on me, right? And at the very end, he said he fucked on Hood. Whoa. Which Hood? The Hood you didn't defend when it came to DW? Because you know what's crazy? It is on the they screen, They want gang? me to do what Brick does all the time, which is basically... Exclusive. Oh, be fucking quiet. Oh, if somebody says some slick shit under their breath, just don't... Yeah, let me start the poll. Because that's what you do every time anybody says any slick shit around you. Literally. But you could say all the slick shit around Sharp and see how pussy he is. The fuck? crazy don't ever in your life think you fucked he said on hood there's i had to literally someone sent it to me and i said there's no fucking way he's like this can't be real because i'm high but i'm not that high so i send it to my sister and i said there's th am i hearing this correctly because a lot of times you know i'm a little deaf maybe maybe i didn't hear that right because there's no fucking way bro cloud chasing i'm i've been left this shit alone they keep talking about me but to lie on me Bro, that's crazy to literally in the same video for the 47th time threaten me. Like, bro, go threaten a man. You see how pussy you are when a man says some slick shit to you. It's crazy. You pussy. Is the live done? You, because you stay pussy to everybody. So all of y'all is fucking pussies. Well, maybe Yo, not the women. Hey, guidelines, guidelines. Bro, fuck y'all. Like, fucking... That's crazy, bro. You're not even a real pimp, and you're getting pimped out by Adam. And you literally had to run to Adam and cry about me. We got this in real time, I had gang. three fucking people attacking me at once. I had two losers attacking me at the same time. I didn't run to Adam. Adam didn't even know what happened until he saw the footage himself online. The fuck? I didn't run to him like, no, I can't take this no more. You're a bitch. Bro, don't start, don't start something you can't finish, ever. And with a bitch like me, Bro, whatever you throw at me, I got a million things to throw back. I don't want to even take it there. I've been said it to y'all. Take some accountability like you wanted me to do, right? I have no problem doing that. Take accountability and we could let I this just put go. It in the chat. I've I, been done. I'm on YouTube imagine live telling, playing this right imagine now. Imagine saying this bitch is a cloud chip. I literally am not minding my business. I have other shit I'm doing. You know what I mean? Like, and they're literally holding each other's hands, sucking each other's cocks every day. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. bro, th this bro code thing, it got to stop. Like, bro, y'all are not really friends. I hope y'all know that. Like, the minute one of y'all is no longer cloud, uh, you know, has any cloud on them, I'm telling y'all, this world is so fucking fake, but it's all good. Just know who your friends are and know who you are. But when it comes to people like that, I mean, shit, y'all just fake as fuck. Just a few days ago, me and Brick were literally laughing about that's what's crazy. A few days ago, he okay, so I'm gonna stop that for now because guidelines. Um, I was looking for some stuff on Twitter to see if I can find just some of the continuous hate train that's been happening over there. I'm gonna have to go play that again still or continue to play that, but I've been trying to find her, her Twitter and it's, I don't see it. I think that her Twitter is mosh up, gang. Is this it? Yeah, her Twitter is mosh up. I don't, I'm not playing it on the screen because, you know, Twitter can get kind of crazy. Idiot. But I ain't got to prove to you the fuck. I got to prove myself to a liar and a fake pimp that literally bought his trophies from Don Magic Juan. Whoa. Don Magic Juan be pimping the pimps. You know that, right? You bought your fucking trophies. But even if you didn't, 
you're not a real pimp, bro. And this is from a square ass bitch. This is from a bitch who everyone, all your bitches that left you because of me, I've been referring to as, oh, that square ass bitch. Suck my whole cock, bro. How about that? Suck my cock. Brick is going to lie on me and say, oh, yeah, I fucked. When? When was this, bro? Literally, not uh, up until two days ago, you didn't even have my number. But okay, you reached out to me like a couple of days ago. I'll say like three, four days, mm, three days ago. Exclusive. And we got on the phone. We were laughing about the situation. And then, okay, maybe I took it too far. What, with the daughter? I already apologized for that. I didn't, and I didn't say nothing about the daughter. I'm All I'm saying is know who your hero is. This fucking loser, he doesn't see none of his kids. He called his ex-wife on his live to try to get y'all to see him as a great father. Bro, that's not who that man is. He owes child support on all his kids. Where are the other two babe moms? Guess where? Smoking meth. Yes. That, that's how the daughter is sick because the mother's a fucking meth head. The fuck? Like, and then he talks everything he tells pimps not to do, he does. And I never, bro, I let him be. I let you be who you are. Don't ever that like say we got that he's fucking, I miss you. She must love me. You know damn well I fucking stopped fucking with you because you asked me for 10 bands. And I said, why would I do that? Like, you, why? 10 bands for what? Like, oh, like, if, like basically, like, are you stupid? <laughs> Suck my hot cop. Guidelines. Why did New York girls be saying suck my cock? Like you don't have one. I don't understand what why why that happens. It went blank. I don't know what's going on here. I think her Wi-Fi got mashed up. Hold on, I think we got action over here. One second, gang. We'll just wait for a second, see if anything pops up. Her chat is going crazy. They got the anti sharp train going on over there. What you got over here? Goes to say that she looks like a man that he would never give her penis. Now, Compa really can't make that particular argument because Compa did indeed put her entire foot in his mouth with sushi on top, and he said he enjoyed it and it tastes like roses. <sighs> Woo! It's getting hot in the streets. Hold on, let's see if this is... That fucking, I miss you, she must love me. You know damn well I fucking stopped fucking with you because you asked me for 10 bands. And I said, why would I do that? Like, you, why? 10 bands for what? Like, oh, like, like basically, like, are you stupid? <laughs> Suck my hot cock. Oh, this is... Let's see if we can refresh and get back in there. I think her, her, her live might be messed up, gang. That fucking I miss you. She must love me. You know damn well I fucking stop. Yeah, her life is messed up right now, gang. Well, goddamn. Damn, homie. Jeez. She's, she's angry right now. Yo, gang, why do you think that she's so pissed right now, dog? Like, what's what it what it what happened over there that has her on such a level? You know what I mean? It's already come out to the light now that Sharp smashed. I think um, she was kind of evading that question. Even when I asked her in the interview, she was like, mm, Sharp, he's, you know, go check out his YouTube channel. He's a great friend, blah, blah, blah. Skated that question. As soon as she got back to L.A., it was like, I don't know. She couldn't. I don't know if them niggas just the way that they might be more savvy with it than me. I'll say that then, because they got it out of her right away. Day two, they were like, yeah, so uh, sharp fuck. Like, damn. Let me go on my history here quick fast. Because um, there was a channel I was watching last night, and uh, we're going to move off of this soon. But there was a channel I was watching last night, one of my um, preferred channels called Point and Shoot. And I watch a lot of Point and Shoot just, you know, for jokes, they cover a lot of uh, No Jumper related content. He's more of like a roast channel. But uh, oh, this, you're so hilarious. He's, he's got you connected to Sharp and uh, Copa. Ray. I won't even Copa get to that Raiders part there. Yeah. The newer guys. That's One second. Yes, this is a point and shoot video. That's me. Um, One second. 
let's see here. Okay, we'll go to over here. And before I start this, um, big salute to Master Move Rise. This YouTube premium break is brought to you by Master Move Rise. Okay, look out for all the new apparel drops that they got going on right now. Go on their website, mastermoverise.ca, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, look out for that new We Love Hip Hop Master Move Rise collabo coming real soon hit them up on their instagram page master dash move dash rise big salute to unk has been going through the absolute worst most embarrassing time of his career ever since his ex-lover damn homie got mad that he didn't want her and she started airing out their sex life and his dark intimate secrets allegedly dark intimates we don't know if any of this is true this whole video is nonsense this video should not be taken seriously but just when we thought we saw the end of this whole debacle between these two we get a bombshell uh, break in the case new evidence has come out and it's taken the world by storm so let me explain so sharp rob has been uh getting tired of damn homies con take because this caused damn homie to actually start going ham and so what damn homie decided to do was uh, begin disclosing alleged situations about sharp rob that would prove to be shockingly gross and one of those things that she said uh was that sharp has an artificial section of a human body that he uses to pleasure himself hey locked yo in his closet and this was shocking and I'd like to show you that this is going to be the first clip. This is damn homie posting to Instagram, uh, talking about all this stuff. Let's Why know. would you ever play with me? I'll never leave you alone until you fucking really take into consideration what's about to happen. I said, I'll this never leave nothing. you alone. I'm only revealing Easy the small up. things right now. And, and the sex doll thing, that's not even a big deal. Yes, he has a sex doll in his closet. It's just the bottom torso. It's hey, just an yo. Ass. Yes. And he fucks it. Yes. No. So you're telling me that this guy, Sharp Rob, who's supposed to be up to his elbows and sex workers and, and girls and hoes, you mean to tell me that this guy who's too... Oh, that's rough. This is out of hand. I'm going to check the poll right here before we continue. I might have to change this. I'm going to change this. The damn homie go too far. 50% of y'all say yes and 50% say no. That's... That's not a bad, um, you know, I'm gonna keep this up for a little while, just a little bit longer. Okay. And then we'll, we'll, we'll change the, um, the question that I have for the poll. Two player is having sex with inanimate objects. What? Hey, yo, that's actually kind of crazy. And when I heard this, this the was like, that this guy be fighting of like a, a, sharp, a body being crazy. found uh, in a serial killer's house. It's just the bottom torso. It's just an ass. Gruesome discovery of a torso. And that wasn't all she came out with. She also said that Sharp Rob's baby's mother tapped in with her and told her that Sharp enjoys Tinkle. To get the fuck out of there, to try to embarrass me. How can I get embarrassed by somebody who drinks piss from a cup? How? Hey, yo. Wow. And you know what she was upset about? She said, wow. So Sharp allegedly has drank and gargled the excretions of, you know, this is really gross. So this is why. I don't think she'll be allowed back over there. I'll even ask you guys as far as in a poll. Do you think, and we'll end this one over here. Um, right now, it's the damn homie go too far. 56% of y'all say no. <laughs> y'all toxic as hell. <laughs> no. More. Do more. Say more shit. <laughs> um. Will damn homie be allowed back on no jumper? Balling like an athlete, but got no jumper. Okay, that's the question I have for you guys right here. Will damn homie be allowed back on no jumper? Now, apparently she's back on the East Coast. All right. Uh, I don't know if New York or Miami, but after that whole nuclear content bomb that happened over there last week at No Jumper, she was out of Dodge back over to the East Coast. All right. And I heard Sharp on the No Jumper News saying, you know, she's lucky she went back to the East Coast. I'm not going to do a Sharp imitation right now. I'm not going to play my hand too crazy. I still got to see these niggas. All right. Um, yeah, he was like, 
you know, good thing she was smart to leave and go back to the East Coast. She's she's stupid, but she ain't that stupid, right? She, he, right? I think after that, it wasn't going to be just for content. And it'll be like, all right, we'll see you next week. You know, what time are you popping up for the news? What's happening with what's happening with Diddy? Nah, B, you violated what she was thinking, but this is a damn homie talking about no. me. You ever watch point Midge completely wrecked by this three out of ten fucking turfed fucking damn homie lady? This guy's I mean, going let's crazy. Face it, if Sharp was getting exposed by like a nine or ten out of ten smoke show. I think the majority of the internet would be able to get over it and forgive him, considering he was able to conquer such an amazingly hot chick. Damn homie, however, is fucking busted. And so this was a huge factor and damn homie is so I want to show you a clip of damn homie talking about me and this real I got a huge problem with this. I don't know what she was thinking, but this is a damn homie talking about no. me. You ever watch point and shoot? Yo, he's hilarious. <laughs> I've, I've seen him for the first time when he did a video on me. Yes. Yo, you're so he's, hilarious. He's got you connected to sharp and Copa Raider. Copa Raider is one of the newer guys that's popped up on there. Yeah. He's a little wild. I will say you need to get your information a little more clear. Yeah. Oh, I need to get my information clear. Okay, so you just said that I did a video on you, which was a lie. What? I did not do a video on you. You weren't even mentioned in the title. It was about Compa Raider and Sharp Rob. You just happened to be there. No one gives a fuck about you. And so you're up here slandering me. Telling people that I made a video about you. Okay, maybe you should get your facts straight. So, so clear it, it up wasn't here. completely accurate. That's yeah. not me and Sharp did not meet on World Sir Live. We've been mad before that. We have an interview last May. Okay. I don't know if you've ever seen this this, this channel point and shoot. They did a whole I almost drank from the mic. Whole narrative on how Sharp is pissed that this cooperator guy took damn homie away from him he's hilarious oh you think i'm hilarious well check <laughs> Yo, this nigga's crazy this out fuck you i find you to be 100 percent disgusting and fully gross you your point of shoot your um money let's do an interview gross so uh sharp rob also had something to say about me i wanted to play this clip also hey, martinez you apologize for point and shoot shit um all right so this is where we are now. She finished the live, so that's not going on anymore. Okay. Um, I don't know. Maybe her reception got messed up and or something happened. Maybe she was done saying what she had to say. I don't know if they're gonna end here, or I don't know. If, I don't think I'm gonna even be reporting on any more of this. Like, I, there's not really much more that we can go with this, right? Unless there's more information that we don't know. Okay, and we also have to keep in mind. This is a woman who's obviously scorned with all due respect to damn homie. She's a woman scorned right now. So a lot of the things that she's saying about Sharp might not be factual. Okay. Um, a lot of the times when women are mad, they're hurt from a situation, especially when it comes to um, to love situations or I don't want to say love. I don't know if there was love involved, but when sex is involved and stuff, even it can get emotional. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, things could be said that are not true just to make that person look bad. All right. I've been there. I've been in situations where, you know, the ex tries to defame your character so crazy. And then you get back with her. And it was like, you know, you made a whole Facebook page about a nigga like trying to make me look crazy. You know what I'm saying? So for her to be saying all this shit about him drinking pee and having half a torso in the in, in at the crib and all <laughs> yo fam, which is wild yeah it just might just be stuff just word vomit you know what i'm saying but salute to damn homie salute to sharp salute to the, the whole joe jumper team over there well we'll keep on no jumper stuff for a quick second here all right since uh we're already Talking about some West Coasting, wet West Coasting. Um, there was a couple of things I seen. Am I on Instagram right now? Am I share? Let me see something quick. Let's see here. Let me go and share my Instagram screen. Let's go there first. Adam Twenty Two has been on the move. Okay. He he's always powering up the clout machine. 
I don't know. That's the, the power up sound right there, right? He's, he's keeping the clock machine, the, the keeping the, the the logs thrown in in the fire, keeping the fire burning for the clock for the clock machine. Oh, is she back on live? Hold on. Is she back on live? One second. No, she's not there. Okay. I saw something on his page. I'll pull it up here quick, fast. Adam 22, big deuce deuce. This right here. So, y'all can see that on the screen. Perfect. And the caption says, and this is from Lennon the Plug in the caption, and this is a collab that he has with him and his wife, Lennon the Plug. It says, my husband let me invite a friend to dinner. What should I make? Drops Thursday. Okay, so it's Wednesday right now. For the people who will be watching the clip that I put out later, it's out. I don't know who this gentleman is. Let me see. Hollywood Cash Money. I'm afraid to go to his page. I'm playing. Let's see. Public figure. 2024 AVN best male newcomer AO um X Biz Award winner international mainstream corn fest at something something in uh brand ambassador. I'm not gonna touch the link tree, we're not doing that. This is the guy X Biz Award, I guess is for the triple X Biz Award. Wagga wagga wagga. So I guess he's a pro. He's he's a professional. He's one of the, the top top coxman. Pause. All right. Road to success says Friday next in line for plug talk. No, sir. No, sir. I you know, I see the narrative that floats around over there <clears throat> when it comes to Adam 22. Even when uh, we were doing the podcast the other day, big suit to Dusty Wallace. He's like, yo, he probably wants her for plug talk if she don't turn up on the podcast. And the narrative that runs anytime around Adam 22, especially with him being super immor- immersed in this adult uh, film industry, is that Adam's going to play games with you. He's going to, you know, he's going to say things that could be deemed sus. He's going to say things that are pushing the line when it comes to sexual in, innuendos. He's like that. He's like, he, he likes to, he likes to talk sex play. You know what I'm saying? So anytime people think about Adam 22, they're like, yes, they think about no jumper, but because plug talk has become such a huge thing, no diddy. Now it becomes his name is synonymous with, with both. That's what I'm trying to say here. Okay. And I don't even know if one is more than the other right now. Okay. Where now when everybody hears Adam 22, they're like, whoa, whoa, what did he do? Did he try to make you have sex? Whoa. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Where I think even from the choice of dude that they have right now, they they're kind of thorough when it comes to picking who does what but everybody's so shocked and appalled because of the fact that him and his wife are willing to smash other guys okay or his wife he's willing to let his wife smash other guys okay let's be clear um let me get rid of this poll right here will adam uh sorry will at damn homie be allowed to be back on no jumper 70 percent of y'all say yes oh interesting and only 30 percent says no Okay, entertainment says Adam Twenty Two, the new Diddy. Oh, you got to chill. Um, <laughs> that's hilarious. Um, let's see here. I don't even know what my question is for Adam. I'll find a question for uh, for a poll for Adam soon. Pause. Let's see here. Let's continue these slides and see what the Twenty Two Ster is doing over here. 22 star in the plug so she's looking up at um she's looking at us right we're looking at her 
She's looking over at um her her husband adoringly. All right. She's got her booty cocked up on this guy right here, ready for action. And Adam is I, I don't know what's going on in this picture right here. She's got some kind of meat on the table. Pause. That she's cutting into. She's looking at him. He's looking at her booty. And now Adam's gone. What's happening here? So wait a minute. Is this another scene where he just lets a black guy smash his girl? And look at Adam in the comments right here. Damn, homie. <laughs> this guy's good. Yeah, it's happening again. <laughs> Yo, Lennon the Slave is crazy. <laughs> he wrote the success. That's a comment of the day. Holy shit. But here's the thing. I feel like I discussed this the last time when they did the For the Love of Lena, or they did something else after For the Love of Lena. They'll never get as much of a clout boost as they got from that Jason Love, um, that Jason Love scene. Not to say that they're not going to make money off of this stuff, and the, if the, the end goal is making money in the end of the day. Okay, I don't think Adam is like how much more, more, more clout, even though if he can get a maximum amount of clout from this move, he'll take it, obviously. But if the end goal is if, if he doesn't get as much clout from this as he gets as he got from the Jason Love movie or the Jason Love scene, as long as he gets a couple of M's or at least an M, I don't think he's going to be like, damn, we didn't turn up as much. Right, his bank account turned up. Right, but as far as the clout, as far as getting the attention, you know, that can circumvent back to the no jumper um network and back to plug talk and everything that you know the whole ends of the means of getting clout is for should be for at least. He, he could never maximize, and this is just my opinion. He could never maximize this amount of clout that he got from that time when there was that whole scene with Jason Love, okay? I don't even think y'all knew this was happening until I pulled this up. Unless you're following Adam22 directly, because he's not going to post this, obviously, on the No Jumper page. But if you're following, if you're not following him directly, you're not going to know that, oh, Lena's going to have a scene with another black guy. All right? So that's happening. Now, one of the other things, because I, I, I play this because Adam, he, he plays games. Uh, you know what I'm saying? He's a podcaster. He's out here. He's doing his thing. He's a, I would say he's a pure podcaster. You know what I'm saying? Even though, like, there's all this other adult content in Ray Tay Tay, the man loves to pot. He loves to stir up the scene when he's over there doing his thing with his with his crew. And some things happened um, as far as his new, his, new crew that he has on a no jumper podcast the the wednesday or the tuesday night show okay let's see here dw flame walks out see that search engine optimization i'm going to ask you guys also in the comments and we'll do a poll quick fast for this while uh i'm playing this is this real okay Comment gang strong. Let me know. Well, okay. This is the thing about DW is that no disrespect. Oh my God. Don't do that. You kind of have bad energy. Like you want us to be on top of making sure like, you know what I mean? Like he wants us to like really be hitting him up to get him to come to the party. No. You got bad bitch energy, babe. No, no, no. I couldn't even hear his throat last uh, when I first heard it. Is he mad for real? Is he just gonna pee? We don't know. He breathing it up. The dog's gonna follow him. His you, that you heard. I don't know if you all can hear that from the from the stream, but I heard that in my headphones, and I didn't hear that last night when I was watching it. She was. She said, "You got bad bitch energy, babe." Oh, that be the thing that turn take it over the top, be. 
He wants us to like really be hitting him up to get him to come to the party. No? Oh, the laugh first, too. Ooh, that's where it stinks. Okay. You heard what he said. I don't know. They blocked it, right? He says, and this is based off of Adam 22 inviting Brick, uh, Brick Baby, DW Flame, a few other people to a party, and DW Flame didn't show up. So he was kind of low key pressing him or not pressing him, just asking him, like, dude, why didn't you show up to the party? He explained to him, yo, y'all never reminded me. I didn't know what was going on. Nobody ever said anything. And, you know, the whole thing was, well, listen, you know, we shouldn't have to be on you, keep on reminding you. That's sort of bad bitch energy. <laughs> However, the operative word, bitch. Okay. Even though he's not calling him a bitch, he said it's bad bitch energy. Dude's a gangster, maybe the wrong choice of words. And then don't do any better when then your woman, DW Flames woman, is in the background over there. You can hear her saying stuff like this. Party. No? You got bad bitch energy, baby. Eesh. And the first thing that the nigga's like, stop playing. Like, <laughs> and he was off of this. No, no, no. Is too much? <laughs> is he mad for real? Or is he just going to pay? We don't know. He breathing it up. The dog's going to follow him. Can you close the door? The sound's going to come in. Yeah. No, that was interesting. Yeah, well, gangbangers don't play with the bitch work. Okay, but he knows what I meant, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has dance. You think it's a pee? He has yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> His girl is still there thinking that he did, like, you know, he just got to go pee. <laughs> okay, but you know what I mean, right? Because yeah. what was the other party that we were going to? There was another party we went to that I, like, invited him to. The one that Soldier Girl performed at. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. was it. Violet Meyer's birthday party. Yeah. And we invited him. And then it's like we didn't mention it to him for, like, a few days before it happened. But to be fair, like if if he's not like in the group chat where we're discussing it, so basically, DW Flames out of there. He's gone. He's out of here. I'm all over the city, which uh, that that you can go to a function with that you don't mind going, but us going with you is like, man, we. Man. It's weird because I go to the porn parties and think, which is a which is true a very small percentage of the time. It's like, yeah, uh, yeah. Let's call it up. Then shout out the old dudes from Hoover that we that we over. Oh shit! I didn't, you, know you didn't saying? get yelled at for being at that kind of party. Yeah. Damn, they be doing that shit a lot, huh? I gave you a mad. Hold on, because you know that that party had like a very specific. Because uh... he didn't leave. I guess they're trying to get confirmation if he left. Brick Baby's on his phone right now, checking. I guess they're. I wonder what he's texting him. Like yo, f this nigga. F this white boy, I don't, I don't know why he, who he think he is. Wow. You tell me. Do you think that that was like ew to the porn awards? He's in the car. He's in the car. Weighing the options, I guess. The car is leaving now. Is leaving now. <sighs> oh wow. You tell me. Do you think? So brick, um, not brick baby, um, DW flame. Jumped in his car. His girl came back, got her purse. They out of there. Adam went too like, far. It, it, that's what I say about, see, we you haven't got with him uh, uh, enough. Like, some people play the, like, game where, you know what I'm saying? And some people don't, bro. Like, but me, I play with my friends like that. So, hey, me yo. and you, we can talk like that shit, like, all the time. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I play with Gordy like that, all my own boys. Bitch, shut up. Nigga, bitch ass. Nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, he left. And he came in the next day. And he had some things to say as far as the reason why he left. Him being DW Flame. Okay, let me pull up what I was watching earlier. I actually got a chance to watch this to, uh, before I did the stream <coughs> and it doesn't stop there hey that's crazy right when we that's talk about
This got to be scripted. This got to be scripted. What's up, cuz? And I'm asking you guys the same question in the chat right now. Okay, because Brick Baby saying right away, this got to be scripted. Do y'all think so? Do y'all think this is real? Let me know in the chat. Where Adam at? Or in the in the in the poll. Yeah, tell cut to come in here too. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get this shit straight right here. Cause Adam's nowhere to be found. Weird shit, all that gay shit, bitch shit that niggas be playing. I don't play that. Cause if you gotta do that type of shit to be at no jumper, nigga, fuck no jumper. Twenty third Street. Nigga. Whoa. I don't play that. Nowhere. I have never, never let a nigga play like that. I only left yesterday. Cause I was off that henny. I know how I get. What I just said. On twenty third street. What I right? just said. I be on bunk skunk in this motherfucker on insane crib. You don't play with niggas like me. You play with niggas like big sad niggas who snitching like that. Niggas who you play with bitch ass niggas like that. You don't. You don't play like that. I ain't. I don't. I don't know about nobody else, but I don't need no jumper, nigga. Oh, well, and that's right. the that's the truth. I've been booming before no jumper, nigga. Being has shows on, being cracking, being a nigga. On 23rd Street, I ain't a nigga who let nobody talk to me crazy, nigga. I'm really like that. I'm insane crip, nigga. I'm insane. I come heavy everywhere I go. If I wanted to blow up, ain't nothing in the building could have stopped me. Nobody, nigga. Security, nothing. He's mad. I'm insane crip. I shut shit down for real. That's the difference, though. That's it. That's the difference. I don't play like that. I don't play with the gay community. I'm not gay, so I don't play like that. You know what I'm saying? But... With all, um, with defense to Adam, they didn't. He didn't say anything about gay. He just said he has bad bitch energy, which is something that they do say in the gay community, though. So, uh, continue, sir. My bad. That's why even I have my own show now because that kind of separates me from having to play right. so much yeah. with niggas. I don't, you know, yeah. and I understand certain shit like niggas play like that. That's your, that's how y'all play. But I ain't never have you ever have I ever played with you uh, any of y'all? But that's what I said when oh, you left. I'm like some like niggas, that. some yeah. niggas like, play, like some like niggas don't. Like cause hey, yeah. even in jail, say crit. Let me know. Like I said, cause see, is he suspect? Yeah, he just put him too. We'll, we'll, get, you know. we'll get to him in a second. Cause suspect, uh, Almighty suspect and Adam also had a clash. None of that shit. Cause. I don't indulge in and no I'm, weird shit. That's why I'm like, you kind of ain't caught on, like I'm nigga. Like, oh, hood, like I call, I call Gordy, bro. I call Gordy bitch on the show. All that nigga, you know, that's my old boy. Hey, bitch, mm. stop playing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But some homies don't play the bitch yeah. word, and you know that. And, and it's you, not even that. It's not like well, I don't play a bitch word. It's not that I'm like super nothing. I nah. ain't super like cut on play with me. I'm just but like some people don't do it. You can't yeah. you like can't you see said, you was on the handy yesterday. Yeah. You was like nigga, that's why I was on the dog. Like, on the I dead home. Did you here. used to watch I, the show before huh? you got on it? No, nah, I mean like I, will, I, will, house phone I, will, I will watch so this gets into where I basically y'all catch the gist of what's going on here with, with DW Flame, right? He, he's standing on business. He's not trying to hear any of these types of jokes that Adam tries, tries to bring to other people. Low key, he, he's kind of dissing some other staff members who do take that type of shit from Adam. But, you know, maybe he's not even realizing that he's, you know, dissing man that might even be in the room. But he ain't trying to hear that shit. OK, even if it's a joke. And he also mentioned and I'm not going to scrub through this to f figure out exactly where, you know, he also has his own podcast on the network. Um, he just started. I think he's on episode three. So he's like, I don't care. I don't have to do the, the show with Adam. I'll just downgrade to just doing my own show. I got to say, brother, I don't know if that could happen where it's like, listen, I could just say F no jumper F your show. OK, him being Adam and Adam being the owner of said network and then say, I'll just do my own podcast on your network. But F you. OK, with all due respect, I ain't got no smoke. Y'all y'all niggas, I know because I and the reason I'm being very apprehensive on the reason I'm saying this or being apprehensive in the way I'm saying this is because over here is the same thing. Gangsters can get kind of touchy with the way that. People are saying things, the words that are used. Obviously, there was the whole nap um, controversy. Okay. And nap, like I, you know, I'm saying this from Toronto. I know that's a derogatory term over there in LA. You got to be walking around with a dictionary in LA, making sure that you don't say the wrong words or you're going to get your head smoked. Okay. I'm just saying. And over here, 
we do have a maybe a more downgraded version of let's say a street dictionary of things that you can't say to man's in Toronto. Okay, but I feel like, and it's safe to say that the list is way shorter when it comes to Toronto of what you can't say to certain men's. All right. We already know about the goof word. That's universal or not universal, but that's all well known in the streets of Toronto. Okay. There's other ones that you can't say. Gang, is there, can you give me some more words that you can't say in Toronto? Okay. As far as, you know, besides goof, all right, goof is obviously the classic, the, the, the gift that keeps on giving. Goof is, you know, originated from inside and it's, you know, has been lasting from 19 how long. But what other words can you not say to a gangster in Toronto? Okay, let me know in the, in the comments. I niggas I really fuck with. Uh, they don't fuck Like, you just ain't catching on, like, Throughout the, I don't know, it probably been 10, 12 weeks that we've been doing this together, right? Mm -hmm. I've never once seen you indulge into the gay joke or make a segue off of that or you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Or like reply with some old shit to make everybody laugh. Like you I'm just always confident just in myself so I can coexist yeah, with yeah, yeah. niggas when like, y'all playing like that or yeah. when the, if, even if a gay person is around. But, I can coexist because I'm a, I'm a man because I know, I know what the fuck I'm on. Okay, now it's, here's but suspect. I'm saying, will she call you? Like you see, suspect over here in the corner, aka Almighty Suspect. He's he came in and he chimed in, but earlier, maybe maybe two days before that, Adam and Almighty Suspect had a clash. And I'm getting to something here. Uh, let's do Almighty. Okay, there seems to be a trend that's happening right now as far as with Adam and his employees who are very gangster. At the moment that you start arguing from authority and arguing that your opinion is better just because no, of your life experience, that. that. no, that's what you're saying right say now. That. They said that, and I agree. You're, you're leaning on that your that life shit. experience to say that, that you should that. automatically win the argument. I didn't say that. I didn't that's say what you just no, said. I didn't say automatically. But the, no, the moment that you tried to discredit, like, you know, how do you know more hip hop about me? How? No, but what you're doing right now, no, acting but, as if. That's the question. Why I'm talking. Stop talking while I'm talking. You're arguing now Yo. that my How opinion. You know why, why are you interrupting so much? I, I, I want to know the question. You didn't answer the question. I'm. You was done talking. That I no, asked the no, question no. And you interrupted. You're asking why. Yo, this is hella uncomfortable. I'm not gonna lie. Why am I allowed to have a legitimate that's opinion on hip hop? No, you're saying that that's my opinion can't said. count compared that's to not yours. What I said. I said the moment that you insinuated, like the. The, the moment that child was ready, and then you said like, oh, like suspect knows more than hip hop about me, nigga. You came in hip hop in thirty two. I was born into hip hop. What are you talking about? I've been listening no. to rap since I was a no. tiny I'm child. And this argument degenerated into a long. This is like a twenty eight minute clip. Okay, that you have the only it, valid opinion because of that. the that's fact that you used saying. to hang out with Lush at battles. That's what you're saying. No, I that's what you said. said. I never brought up. Lush. Why do you keep saying things and denying that. that you send them? I quote me. Stop. Putting this has happened a lot of times shit. in a row now. I never quoted anything. You're not quoting me. <laughs> no, I am. No, that's I'm directly quoting you. It got out of control. You meant our opinion should be judged on the merits of the opinion and not make turned into personal attacks and you, you you stepped over the line with I, that you no, you, you kind of made, no, made it personal attack. you made it no 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 but he started it he told me that i'm, I'm not gonna get he told me because i'm from new hampshire or because i'm old that i'm not allowed to have an opinion no you from new hampshire nigga from new hampshire riding bike talking about he know more about a nigga see who there it is there it is there it is because you've been no that's what you've been doing since the very fucking beginning what are you talking about weird ass nigga now take a shot oh see okay there it is weird ass nigga he called him Oh, see, yeah. see, yeah. see, see, see? You've been taking shots for an hour. He's yeah, damn homie. Yeah. You've been taking shots for an hour. Wow. Man called him damn homie. He's sus homie. Yeah. Damn homie. Sus homie. Yeah. Shut the fuck up the whole time. Yeah. Sus Stop homie. Nigga, what are you nah. talking about, bro? <laughs> what are you talking about? Nigga, you was the see that, see that, that, that game playing them games? <laughs> Yo.
Peace, you was a yeah. spectator riding bikes. See, you see? interviewing hip hop. He's doing it again. He's doing it again. I mean, he's doing it again. Nobody's convinced by this argument. All right, shit, they was the argument of I get to have an opinion because I've been hanging out poetry lounges and you don't because you were cool successful riding BMX bikes. What are you doing, girl? Oh, I should. Damn, I thought we were just making content. Look how in his feelings he is, bro. This is a few days before DW walked off the set. He didn't actually walk off the set, but I actually think he was planning on walking off the set, man. Mm. Don't do that. Don't Damn. do that. Cut, where are you going? Oh, I thought no, you, you were out. Out. <laughs> out. He switched and said, nah, I'm just going to the washroom. Oh, hey, Adam said he out. Hold on. So I'll stop it there. <laughs> now, this is all happening all around Adam. He has Suspect who walked out on the podcast a couple of days before. He has DW Flame who walked out on the pod a few days before. It's getting kind of crazy over there. Okay. Now, I'm going to ask you guys another question. Maybe I'll do another poll. Maybe I'll do another quick poll here. Do you all think that this is, this is going to be the same type of thing that happened with the old cast, with the old crew? Because it seems like a lot of tension is happening over there. All right. I'm asking you guys, or I asked you guys um, in, the, in the poll that we have up right now, if this is real, 56% of y'all said yes, and 44% of y'all said no. Okay. Um, Easy Factor says, Bati, yeah, Bati's not a good one. If you call a guy over here, like, like a guy, okay? I'm, I don't mean guy in the sense of, like, just a man. I'm talking about a gangster dude, like, real gangster nigga. If you call him any type of any type of gay slur or anything like that, I don't even, I can't even say get your fist up. It's just you better have have your burner ready, okay? Be ready to return fire. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. But I'm going to do another poll over here. All right. Um, maybe I could I could make it in a shorter way of saying it. Will, will this be another? Fig mutiny moment. How do you how do you spell that? Munity moment. OK, because you all remember when everybody left during the time of the pandemic or right after the pandemic, um, when A.D., T.R.L., all these guys left the network. OK, things were getting re the tension was getting really, really high around those times. And then something popped off. Obviously, everybody knows that ha what happened with Lush. And right there, everybody was out of there. Now. We're in a different place when it comes to No Jumper, okay? Adam has been able to bounce back. Um, he's been able to get his view counts <coughs> back to what it was when um, the whole fig immunity world was over there. And he's been able to add extra layers to, what he, to his empire in the form of Plug Talk, okay? At the time, Plug Talk had just started when fig immunity world was over there. But it ain't the way it is today. All right. It's nowhere near the level of the way that he has plug talk bubbling today. All right. He's back in his interview mode. He just interviewed YBN the mirror. He's moving and shaking out here. And he's had multiple viral moments since that time, besides the um the whole thing with Jason Love. Okay, this is three hours ago. DW Flame show is going on right now. Hold on, let me play this back. Let me put some volume. They 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 troll, twill troll, and then the internet just that, ran up again. Okay, so no statements. That's on hey, right now. So he's in a different position. Okay, as far as we can see, everything is business as usual over there, but there's a lot of tension. Do you guys think, and I'll ask, and I'll ask you guys again, that we're gonna get another fig immunity moment? Right? We had a conversation maybe two weeks ago when Brick Baby was crashing out, and I was saying that he potentially kind of has the place held hostage, where you can't leave. 
You know that you know that expression. Now you can't leave. So he's got some super gangster niggas around him. Not to say that the niggas that he had before wasn't gangster, okay? But they were able to evolve in this whole uh, content creation game and not be as rough around the edges. Now the niggas that he have over there, he he's not even paying as much of attention to what's going on. He's not as hands on. So suspect, with all due respect, half of the time doesn't even talk into the mic. And this is one. This is one of the first time him and suspect were even able to have a conversation on camera. Okay, for the amount of time that he was over there. So he's not as involved with his staff on a day to day as he was with the community guys. So if there is, and I say that to say, if there's some tension, it's way easier to say, you know what, my nigga, you got to go. You know what I'm saying? I don't wait. I, you know, it, with all due respect, like, yeah, we doing this. This is content and Ray Tay Tay, but I'm your boss, bro. You can't talk to me like that. Weird ass nigga. Like, yeah, we're having some discourse on camera. We're having a great debate. The views are going up, but who you calling weird? I know in the West Coast, you call somebody weird. That's another pressure point. That's another buzzword. That's fighting words. All right. I don't know if weird is the equivalent to goof over here, but it just might be. Okay. There's no other job that you can do. And I'll say that even with myself included, I don't have these type of problems. I don't have anything close, not any problems. Salute to the whole squad. Like we good over here now. You know what I'm saying? But in the past, there's been times where, you know, talking to different cast members, different um, people that are were part of the network in the different times, having to give direction and do different things is not easy. Okay? So, you know, you, you when you're hands-on, it makes it easier, but I say that to say, like, bro, Adam's not around all the time. Okay? You know, as soon as, uh, you know, we were doing our podcasting back in the days, but I've had to let some people go for trying to talk to me crazy. I won't even say some. <laughs> Let's not do that. One. Okay? Because no matter how much we laugh and joke on camera or whatever, there's, there's limits to this shit. You can't talk to me crazy. Okay? You can't be like, weird ass nigga. F no jumper. Like, I'm just saying... Maybe if Adam lets that type of shit slide, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? But low key in the back of his mind, he might be like just checking things off of his list. Like, yeah, okay. I see how that went down. We'll see what's going on with Christmas bonuses or any type of um, advancement in my company. Okay. In my opinion... He's not looking at these niggas the same way as maybe has uh, he looked at the whole AD, t Rel and all them. Like, he didn't know that them niggas was going to leave. That caught him by surprise, okay? I don't think he was planning on cleaning house. Them niggas all left, and he had to, like, figure out what he was going to do on the fly. But if he's a smart businessman, I don't think he would let that happen twice. Where if a whole bunch of people leave, he has to start, what am I going to do next? Uh, 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 who am I going to keep? Who's going to leave? No, 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 no. I don't think he'd be caught with his pants down, a hey, yo, twice. Okay? I think this time around, he's going to be the one that's going to be like, you niggas, one, two, three, you got to go. And then this is what we're going to do now moving forward. Okay? He set up all the pieces that he needs to. That if anything happens, he could just switch the play. I'm just saying. All right. Salute to Adam22. All right. You were seeing a lot of different things going on here week after week when it comes to him and his own staff. Them, those, his team in itself is a whole soap opera. Like we don't even, they don't even need to have guests. They just have to get on camera together and some shit may happen. Okay. And it's good for us, the audience. It's entertaining. But as far as for a work environment, I would imagine it's very toxic. Okay? So 
that's stuff that doesn't really sustain for long spaces of time before somebody gets punched. So we'll see what happens. We'll we'll keep up with that. Um, I got a couple more things, and then we're gonna get off of this. I've been streaming for about two hours. Holy, Uncle Chat. Um, our boy academics. We may need to check on academics again. Now, recently, the whole fresh and fit debacle has been going on. I think everybody's been caught up with what's going on with uh, my my Bajan brethren, Walter, a.k.a. Fresh, from Fresh and Fit. Um, he had the pregnancy scare. We covered that. We don't need to cover it twice. In the relate, you're paying me for a month, and I'm pregnant. <laughs> what does that mean? God wants you to have a like, baby. It, now I just think about it. Like, it Okay, so that's happening. Now, I haven't been keeping up with the whole of Academics' streams, but I'm know I know that Academics has been covering this, and maybe we can go on his page quick fast and see what he's been posting about it. Let's see what he's posting in his stories. Because we need to check on Act. Every once in a while we need to check on Act. HIV dangerous, but the biggest disease on earth is Bad mind. Them try to science me, but my mother prayer reach on time. Okay. Let's act in this, me doing acts, best Jamaican accent. <laughs> copyright, copyright, chill. Okay. These are responses. All right, gang. How long is this from two hours ago? This is Rumpian, this bad man. Them try to science him for you. All right. He's got his, his um, Rottweilers there. Let's pause this. My granny tell me long time, don't put your faith in mankind. Jesus, sorry. Jesus got to sell for 30 piece of silver. Some of them will sell you for one kind. All right, it's got the Jamaican fly, scorpions, prayer hands. Okay, he's feeling royal right now. Now, this may be in response to. Let's go. How many slides? Are there? This. So, this is courtesy of Shy Glizzy. His ex. You know what? It might still be on her page because we're not 24 hours into the loop yet. Or Che Glizzy or Shy Glizzy. I don't know. Okay, she got nothing on the page. Let's go back. Yeah, it's still there. Like, you don't want to talk to me? You know that, like, I've been literally sitting here. Okay. So, I guess, and you know what, y'all, I'm not even showing y'all on the screen. Okay. Now, it's my bad, gang. I should have been checking the chat. Let me go back quick, fast. Let me show y'all what I was looking at. Okay, so this is what I, got, I was showing you. I was looking at on the screen. Y'all see that on the screen good? All right, the message is up there. He's he's clapping back. Okay, this is like two hours ago. He, so he's clapping back. Okay, and this is the botched reading that I was doing earlier uh, about my granny told me long time, don't put your faith in mankind. Okay, he's just doing the, he's spitting the lyrics, basically. Jesus to sell for 30 piece of silver. So, them man for sell you for one kind. All right, bars. All right, so he's clapping back. This is a response. This is a counteraction. All right, if you want to take it to the dance hall. Because he's clapping back at Che Glizzy. 
And I guess she might have got activated from his some of his commentary. You know, before we get to Shake Lizzie shit, because we got time before um, this gets eliminated. And if she deletes it, don't worry, we got the screenshot. Um, but this might have sparked from the what maybe academics had to say about the whole fresh and fit thing. You might have called the girl a treesh. I don't know. I, I It's hard to keep up with all of the stuff that's going on out here. Let me see if I could find something fresh and fit related. Young Miami. Nah. There's a Young Miami Deja doll controversy that's bubbling, but I'm going to keep up with that. I'm going I'm to uh, follow up with about that just now. Um, I'm trying to find something fresh and fit related. He might have not posted about them, man. Loyal to the soil. Remember, those are his guys, right? So he might be like, all right, you know what? I'm gonna let my niggas live. Yeah. This guy is sick. <laughs> Yo, he's a good friend. Because I'm scouring. I'm really looking closely to see if there's any post that I missed about Fresh and Fit. He might have talked about it on his live stream. But Chai Glizzy or Che Glizzy or I don't know how to pronounce Shorty's name. Right? She got activated. She got she she got active. And I'm just going to do one more quick check on his DJ Acad Academics TV page. Maybe they posted about it over there. If not, then like this nigga is super loyal to the soil. Like he's not trying to post nothing about his niggas. Um, cause there's enough in there's enough clips and different developments that are happening in this whole fresh and fit shit. So I might even be wrong on why she got activated then, cause I don't see shit about these niggas on here. Yeah, okay. So let's see what she got to say. Let's go to Chai Glizzy, aka Chai Glizzy, aka Who Cares. Let's go to. Her Instagram stories. You know that. So she says, "Y'all want to hear a joke?" You know that, like I've been literally sitting here hurting and wondering why you won't come to me. You know I've been like begging you to come. You know I've been literally just like upset, hurt, damaged over you, and like. You just ignore all that, and then you're like, "Oh no, the, yeah, the reason why I don't do that is because you gotta miss it." That's gaslight. So, you know, like, you don't want to talk to me when I called you yesterday and I called you 50 million times. Ah. You finally answered because, like, you're the whoever guy you're with, the probably said, damn, why you the phone keep blowing up? You know what you fucking look at me and say? Mm. This is why I think so. It says, come get your friend fresh and fit rumble. Okay? This is what sparked my um my thoughts on saying, is she getting at him or at academics, him being academics, is she getting at academics because of some of the commentary that he had on this whole fresh and fit thing, you know, talking about crazy girls and stuff like that. And she caught feelings, right? Because after that, she unleashed the cannon. Problem is, there's a cannon. There should be no cannon. Nigga, stop talking to me. I'm going on a fucking day. You know when I called you like nights ago? When you were at some nigga's apartment and nigga, I watched your fucking location. You, 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 you know, I was even thinking, I'm like, bro, if any time I ever was doing bad and you called me, nigga, I fucking ran out of there trying to get home to go talk to you. Just to be like, baby, come on, you know, I love you. I'm like, like, I'm trying. Oh, ack, bro. Nigga, you stayed there till 7 p.m. It just told me, it was like, bro, you have this woman, she doesn't give a fuck about you. You got to get over this shit because she's going on with her life. She wouldn't do these things to you. So from what I have right now, from what I gathered, is he's in a situation where he's still hollering at Shorty. Like, yo, you know, what are you saying? Why aren't you picking up? Da, 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 da. And when the shoe was on the other foot, he was saying he was more compassionate, 
Okay. I don't. This is a weird way of rationalizing, but he was saying, I guess, when he was cheating, he cared a little bit more. Okay. If she caught him in a situation, he would at least try to get out and, and go back home to her. But now Shu being on the other foot, and I don't I don't even think he'd be called cheating. I guess it's called like her moving on. When he hollers at her and he's like, Who you with? Who's that in the background? She's like, I don't Rodney. Fuck. What? All right? Leave now. Come meet me. I'm 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 driving out. I'm I'm down the block. No. And then she don't don't leave until like 7 p.m. the next day. Fam, move on. You're calling her. She doesn't even care to explain. She doesn't even care to whatever. My nigga, you were talking to her like this is what's like hurt <clears throat> hurt me the most. You had zero fucking emotion. There's nothing. There's nothing. Bro, she's a demon, fam. Yo, act. We're not gonna never take any of your goat status away. And the caption says, telling people I'm crazy, but crying, um, OPT, nasty work. All this crazy shit stops today. Go wipe your nose, kid. Yo, fam, she's talking crazy to you. This is insane. Yo, fam, you need to. I, I'm. I would have said. I was gonna say you need to call Myron, but niggas like Myron and them niggas give you bad advice, bro. Don't even look to them niggas for advice. Go call MTR, whoever the, that's still left in the in the in the manosphere space or whatever that can give you some advice. Like, get back on your heart on thoughts movement, bro. You got, bruh. I think that even says, baby, you know I love you. You know, like, bruh. I still want to spend my life with you, but like. Funny joke so far, right? But wait, it gets better. Bruh. You are a content creator. You're a public figure. You're dealing with a demon, a parasite. Okay? You should know better than to say anything thinking that this demon. The scallywag is not going to be recording you. Oh. Gang, talk to this nigga. That's it. <laughs> no copyright. What does it say here? I literally have done so much for you. How could you do this? I want to hear your voice. Answer me and talk to me. Where did we where did this go wrong? I sent you a flight just to tell tell the truth. You owe me that at least. Yo, y'all remember this chick took five hundred thousand dollars out of her crib, bro. You're pissing me off, act. You know what I'm saying? You're the guy, bro. You can't let these girls be knocking you off of your pivot, bro. They're, they're taking pegs off of the goatness that you try, that you built. All these, all your kids who are live streaming and doing videos where they're just doing a documentary styles or quick, quick blurbs about the news without their face on it. Impressive TV, Luista, all these different people. Fam, don't mess up the legacy. Um. You've been at this nigga's apartment all day. You really done? You really done with me? Get on the flight, okay? Yo, these are all back to back, back to back, back to back, back to back. You're a clown. Just leave me alone. Is what she was. Yo, please tell me this shit is doctored, fam. Answer me. I'm saying something. Answer, bro. I don't even want to read any more of this shit. This is pissing me off, broski. One second. I ain't with... Okay, so I don't know what this is. This I can't see that. You know what? Let me see for my phone. Un momento, gang. 
I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, so the thing at the top, the blue says, I canceled the flight. Good night. And that's her. Okay, she's the blue. I ain't with nobody. See why um why do you think this dumb shit? Or, or maybe he's the blue. He's the blue, right, gang? Let me know. Anyhow. Um it says here, I ain't with nobody. See why you do this um this dumb shit. We ain't argue why we arguing. You, we gotta stop arguing. How simple back and forth uh, turn into you doing this? Answer the phone. Why the hell did I just do that? Um. Oh yeah, he is though in the white. <laughs> Cheyenne, answer. Why did you do that? Sorry. Why are you just? Did that? Yeah, yeah. I have things planned. Wow. You're just gonna get um you're just gaslighting me up. Probably got a nigga coming over. That's so sad. And then on the bottom it says, We were just texting casually, and you did that. Wow, can't believe you. You're gonna cheat on me. That's bad. That's bad. <laughs> Fam, can't make gal make you look like some gal clown, Bridgen. <laughs> Broski, look at this. Let me move this over because on the top here, and then for what's covered up here i don't think y'all can see that on the screen either y'all can see it but i can't see it on my side here that's why i gotta go through to my phone also someone next to you but blowing my phone up crazy so i guess he got a girl over there with him and he's still going ham <laughs> niggas would be nick Ack, you gotta chill, bro. This is hurting my heart to go through this right now, fam. Listen, I was driving back from my um, interview with Roni. I was like, because she don't post a lot, you know what I'm saying? We followed her. We being me you and, and the, you, me on the live, right? I gave her to follow maybe two months ago when there were the whole five hundred thousand dollar crazy stealing thing went down. And she doesn't post often. As you can see, there's zero post on her Instagram page. But when she does post, she jumps in her stories. And then things get spicy. Okay? Axe says here, you left me for dead. I gave you my heart and the, and the whole world. I promise no one is here. But it's okay. You're moving on. I even started pouring out my soul to your mom. You got it. You don't want me no more. I got the picture. Couldn't be couldn't be love if you moved on this quick. Everybody know when you've been sad because of you. Everybody know I've been sad because of you. Broski, I, I just had the X-Files sound just go through my head because like I don't see the nigga streaming as often. Please don't make it because of this gal. Um, you mad because you see me smiling after you after you left me for dead? What is he, what is he talking about? Left him for dead? Like, did she leave this nigga in a ditch somewhere? We can go back to ignoring each other. I ain't I, I ain't do that shit to um to H um for you to try and torture me uh, torture me like that. You went on a date last night to f with me. It's okay. I loved you for a long. I loved you for long. But I got to love this new, and this is covered up, and then she has something delusional. But you're right. I don't want you. Jesus Christ. She's just trying to just hurt this nigga's feelings, B. Is there audio on this? I like it the way that you bought it. Oh. <sighs> 
Ack, you're making my brain tired, bro. Oh, uh, this might have to be my last story, bro. You're depressing me, my nigga. What do y'all think this th- this girl has on this nigga that this guy is just like he's in yo? This is past love, fam. This is this. She got you on another level. I don't even know what to ask in a poll right now. I'm just sh- in shock and awe. Wow. I I I don't even have another question. Like as far as you know, does she have something on act? No, she's this. That goes without saying. Is there any audio on? This? Oh, and she's playing Saucy Santana on top of that. Oh, disrespect. Disrespect to the man them. Um, it says, if that went over your head, the joke is at academics and she's at him. Keep um keep it P. Stop calling me crying, then telling people I'm crazy when you would delete yourself over me. Whoa. This is depressing. Oh, she's playing the clown music. Fam, she's calling you a gal clown. Bro, take back your manhood, my nigga. Oh, Lord. I I don't even want to read anymore. Because this is all act. This is all act right here. All these words here. Okay. I just wanted us to be back together. I took all of the blame. Fam, she stole $500,000 from you, fam. Stop it. I wanted to bring it back. The only thing she responded to is, you never loved me. She loved the comment. Fam, move on. Please. Yo, Grand Wizard. Leafy. um, AJ. Talk to your mans and them. Bring annoying out and who else? Who's the nigga who got canceled the other day? I don't even remember that nigga anymore. Um, who got canceled the other day? Call all them niggas. Have an intervention, bro. You have to get away. From, take that nigga's phone, AJ. Take his phone, bro. Who's who's six nine? Call Ack. Check on this nigga, bro. Look at this. <sighs> oh my god. I didn't know this. I didn't have I don't have this one on my phone, gang. This is newer. These are newer slides. Hold on. The nigga got the um the Audi A8 or something outside the cribble. The only thing the nigga missing is the boom box. Still to the eye religion. Ah! Ack. Gotta bring it back, bro. Gotta pull it back in, bro. You're gone too far. A little boy inside his beluga whale body. Losing 80K in poker while going through every football player that follow my contacts is sad. Bumbarasso. Is there any more? No. I could go on for days. Point is, point is, I begged academics to leave me alone multiple times. Took three years to see you just a lame with money. The relationship served its purpose at the time, but I don't even see you as a man now. You're still 20 in your head, but really 35 playing Fortnite and drinking Henny for breakfast. I grew past you and just want to be detached from someone who is stuck. 
applaud that ether. That shit, that make your soul burn slow. What does she do to this nigga, B? Wow. I don't know if y'all peep this, but I, I'm friggin' I'm hurt, yo. What's this? Yo, fam, you guys don't even understand. My my heart is actually beating because I'm afraid of every slide that I uncover. I, I don't even want to get like a um a um community guideline for maybe a slide that might be too racy. You got demons to fight. Stop speaking about me. Lock in, twin. Yo, she's talking stout. Is this act right here with the red um red headgear and the gloves? That's a good that's a good punch. <laughs> Yo, what is happening? You got to chill, Ak. You really got to chill, bro. Fam, lock in with... I can't even say with, 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 with family and stuff because family's around him. Like he says, that Ak is very transparent on the streams. He says his mom, Dukes, be around. Like his family's around. They're not getting into his head. There's no way that they're not telling them, fam, you're moving like a gal clown. Cut it out. Behave. Livingston, behave. Wow. Have this gal play you for fool, Bridgin. Like I'm, I'm gone. He's winded. <laughs> is this like some exclusive footage that never came out before? Like, am I seeing something that's not out on the gram? Like, Act never put this out or something? Franklin Fraser says she owns him. Yeah. If this is anything within the last two months, fam, intervention. No combination. Intervention. <laughs> Oh, and there's more. No, no more. No mas. No mas. Oh. What is this? A-O-A-O. -A -O. The thing is, I never told you, but you followed me. Um, He was watching my shit for like three days straight. It makes, no, uh, makes sense now. Um, he was just stalking your page for real, for real. You're literally the tenth person to say this. She says, laughing my ass off. And this is on Instagram, I think. So this is different. Laughing my ass off, bro. I was confused why he it was on my shit. I promise you, if I follow you, he's watching your page to see if y'all got my if y'all story. If I'm in y'all stories. Let me reread that. I promise you, if I follow you, he's watching your page to see if I'm in your stories. The only way that he can see if she's in other people's stories is if he's using her account. 
Okay. Like, I don't think he can look from the outside and see that, you know, niggas is in her story or she's in niggas stories looking at niggas, niggas post and, or their story post says, I pro um, don't let my, um, don't let me post. I'm at camp. He going to hit the DJ up asking what you doing, what, uh, what I'm doing. I guess camp is the club. I'm not from there, so I don't know. Okay, don't don't kill me in the comments. I guess camp is a club, but uh, yeah. Is there more? Oh my god, and this is all from four hours ago. Hacking my Instagram, blocking um, blocking boys and girls. I'm cool with. Anytime y'all see me apologizing, um, uh, sorry. Anytime y'all seen an apology come from my page, he wrote. And posted himself. So I guess Ak is like jumping and hacking. What is Ak, you gotta chill, bro. You gotta fucking chill, bro. You're, you're you're actually pissing me off, my G. You know what I'm saying? Cause niggas respect you out here, bro. You ain't trying to see all of this stupid shit, bro. I don't care about no reggae tunes. I don't care about no no lyrics, bro. Get on your stream, bro. If you're seeing this, if any of the people who, who deal with acts see this, go talk to your mans in them. Tell them get on timing, bro. Get on the stream. Address this shit. And then after you're done addressing this shit, for real, for real, not on stream, yo, I've cut this bitch off. Oh, dodge the bullet. Crazy bitch. Da -da 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 -da. Ray Tay Tay. And then go back on her phone later on, bro. Because I'll say again, she's got you looking like a gal clown, bro. And I know you know what that means, bro. Fix this shit up, my nigga. It's disgusting. Um, I think we're done here. I do think we're done here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got about two hours and change in here. Salute to the comic gang. Comic gang scrong. Look out for the Mark Moore, a.k.a. Presidente interview dropping mañana, okay? 3 a.m. for the audio listeners, 6 p.m. for the people who are watching on YouTube. Make sure to hit that like button on the way out, all right? We'll be back next week or probably in a few days with another live stream for your head top. Until then, we off of this. Deuces.